Hello, hello, hello. We're back, we're back, we're back. Good afternoon, good evening, good morning. I found it. Yes, you did. <laughs> I couldn't find it. I love it. I think we did such a good job I on that. I love it. I have to say the best part, I, the, my favorite part is the bubbles. <laughs> I yes. love the bubbles, right? Yes. The bubbles are so cute. Hi, everybody. How is everybody today? She's a drowned rat. I am. It's so oh, it's good. Raining there. It's, so it's, it's been raining here all day too, like crazy oh my rain. God. Ridiculous rain, ridiculous. It's how everything stays so lush and green. I like it. Look at Mary Ness. I was the first thumbs up. Afternoon all. Mary. Hi, Mary Ness. Mary, you're so cute. Mary's so cute. I love her big eyes. It's so beautiful. I wish there was a way to like make the bubble bigger so we could like see it bigger. Right. Like you could like, click on it and they take up the screen or something. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. Maybe I should have everybody send me their favorite photos so that I can put them up on the screen. So that way Susan can, con can complain about the intro to the auction being an hour and a half long instead of just an hour <laughs> long. <laughs> Susan, are you here? <laughs> Susan? <Yeah>. Hi, Ruth. <laughs> I was watching, I was watching, hi, Daniel. I was watching an old video. And the reason why I was watching the old video was because Schreiker wasn't modding that day. And um, I wrote something on a slip. And what was it, T? I talked to you about it. I can't, what was it? I don't remember what it was now. I've shipped out so many orders. Anyways, I wrote, I wrote something on a slip, but I didn't, I couldn't remember what it was. It was like, I wrote like, just hypothetically, I just like, I wrote like photo. Well, was it the pinups? Was it a box of photos? Was it a, like, what was the photos? So I had to go back and watch the video. And, and it's true, T. T, I, I, I told T, some, I said to something to T that she does a lot while we're live. And she said something that I do a lot that I, when we're live, that I do. And you're right, T, I, I do do it a lot. <clears throat> I clear my throat. I clear my throat. I didn't realize I cleared my throat as often as I do. Has anybody else noticed me clearing my throat all the time? I guess I do. I clear my throat a lot. I got to stop doing that. Maybe it's like a nervous habit. I don't know. Could be. What does Stryker do? He just stays quiet. Stryker's nice and quiet. No, actually, my chair goes like this. When I get bored, I think I move back and forth. Hi, Leon. How are you today, Leon? Hey, Leon. The resellers in the house. Hello, hey, hello. Hi, Lindsay Ann. Hey, Lindsay. Thanks for being here, honey. Sexton. Edge. Okay, Daniel, could you do me a favor? Uh, He's good. He's all good. Okay. Um, you guys, that reminds me, please make sure that your PayPal addresses are up to date, even though we have the registration form, um, because when I ship through UPS, which I've been doing more UPS shipping than I used to do because my bundles are so big and it's less expensive to ship via UPS, it's like extra an extra step and extra work for me to import that stuff to pirate ship. So I ship directly on the PayPal UPS, right? T, do you yeah. do the same? Yeah. So if that address is not correct, and usually I'm shipping UPS because my shipping is $30 or more, then I lose out. It happened to me with one of the customers um, last month where the ship i somehow that it wasn't her fault i tried to change the shipping address i think anyways i burnt uh three labels at the tune of like 
$36 each and it takes 90, no, it takes 30 days to get back that money from UPS. Um, so UPS is holding over a hundred dollars of my shipping money um, before I see it back. And I don't know about you guys, but a hundred dollars to me is a lot of money. So yeah, it's, it's a bummer. So please check your long story short, check your PayPal addresses and make sure that they are up to date and correct. Yeah. I mean, we usually try to use what you've sent, but if you've ch had a recent change of address and you haven't changed it in PayPal, send us an email and just say PayPal didn't update yet, or I didn't update PayPal or whatever. You know, we've gotten away from kind of the email, email us after you purchase, you know, which is fine. We're okay with that. But Christina still does it. Yes. Christina Caragoulis is the best with that. She, she does it. Fine. She still does awesome. it. She's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Sharon, East Coast Thrifting, if you could do it, if you don't mind, it would be a great help to me because, um, I, I have, since you are on like automatic pay, I have to like cross reference to make sure that, you know, um, like I have a bucket of shoes with your name on it and I'm sure you paid for them. Um, because you usually cha-ching as soon as you buy something, you always pay for it. So those shoes will be going out tomorrow, honey. Um, I found them, there was a bin on top of them and they hadn't been out. I don't even know what the, the date is on them. So um, another bin had got put on top of them. So they were missed. Um, let's see. Where did I leave off here? Um, these collections. Thank you for being so great with your email. I told you she sent me an email last night, just checking on the status of this stuff. And, um, yeah, I don't need to answer this. It says, <laughs> tell me. It says, tell me. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, thanks Dees. That was awesome. Troubles in the chat. What? Troubles in the chat. Troubles in the chat? Who's trouble? Patrick. Who? Patrick. Oh. Gleason? Yeah. <laughs> no, actually, he's in his pet D's right now. <laughs> it's Mr. Gleason. Where are the ladies? <laughs> Why is he saying where are the ladies? Was it because oh, because we were it was five o'clock and we were a minute late. Sorry, Mr. Zuckerman. Oh, we have the birthday boys in birthday. the house. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Jim. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. I hope you had a great day. Said his mom and dad came to visit for his oh, birthday. Nice. nice. Happy so birthday. That's Jim. nice. Mom, my aunt and uncle are there. Awesome. Happy birthday, cuz. Hi, Maddie. Welcome Hi, Maddie. in, sweetheart. Welcome in, welcome in. Rachel. Hello, Hi, Rachel. sweetheart. Thank you for coming in. I have Angelina here, you guys. Hey. Hey, she says. And Chesney's on her way, so we'll have a house full party. Maybe they'll do some karaoke to entertain us in the background. Hi, Junebug. Hi, Junebug. Hi, honey. Mr. Turtle Trader. Hey, Mr. TT. Oh, so um, I just, I don't know. I was just, I, this has nothing to do with Mr. Turtle Trader. It just came to mind. Hi, Jules. Hey, Jules. <laughs> um, Craig, so glad that you're here. Hi, Craig. Good to see you. Nance P, welcome in, sweetheart. Hey, Nance. Peggy Gilmore, hey, welcome Peggy. in. Thanks for coming. Thank you for coming. Susan Arrington, welcome in, welcome in. Mr. D. Scott, darn it. I got to write it down, D. Scott. I'm going to do it while we're live. I'm going to write it down right now. I still haven't sent him his $28 or whatever it is. I have to figure it out. Captain Spaulding, I'm so sorry. What's the matter? Hi, Heidi. Holly. Hi, Holly. Holly texted me this morning and said, I hate working nine to five. I wish I could be self-employed. Have you always been self-employed? And I said, no, I had an amazing career before I became a stay-at-home mom. I worked for a phenomenal company and I, and I, sometimes I long for the days that I could just leave and leave everything at the office or leave everything. In my case was the shop 
and then just enjoy my day off. Because like, for example, yesterday I worked from like 930 in the morning until two o'clock in the morning with maybe like an hour and a half break in between. But other than that, it was constant work. So it's hard. Hey, Pam Henry, how are you, sweetheart? I have some packages that are going out to you. I didn't get to them today. Lisa, hi. Can't wait for another episode as the auction turns. I'll be home soon to watch. Right, Lisa? Oh, my gosh. Hey, Captain. <laughs> that was crazy. Hi, Heather. Hello, hello. Mr. Pat D's, Doreen French. Look at you guys rolling in. Thanks, you guys. Ronnie, hi, honey. Hope you are feeling better. I need to call you so we can get caught up. Wanda Pat, I didn't mean to jump over you, honey. If there's, any, if there's anybody I missed, I, I apologize. Camille, hello, hello. Camille's going to come tomorrow. She's going to come hang out. Just me, welcome in. Didn't somebody else have that profile picture with a different name? Is that the name? Is that the profile picture? Someone else came in with that profile picture? Maybe, maybe. I think, uh, so. Did it come over on Twitch or something? I can't remember. I can't remember. I thought Facebook. I saw that. Yeah, something. I don't know. Hey, this and that. Hey, this and that. Yeah, Heather Blackwell. Um, I had to get like I had to call her for her physical address because um, I can't, you can't ship UPS to post office boxes. What's up, baby? Nothing. Nothing. Hi, Jen Bennett. When did you sneak in? I didn't see you come in the door. Hello, Hi. sweetheart. Virginia, so good to see you. So good to see you. I'll see. Hello, hello. Hi, I gotta check your um I get I'll see check your email because your package went out. Um, I don't know if I have the right email address because your invoice wasn't viewed. Um it was LC, right? I think that I said, yeah. I think it was LC. Um Yes, that was my Twitch account. Ah, okay. Feeling better, Donner. Going to have a colonoscopy tomorrow. Whoa, so much fun. Oh, it's not that bad. It's really not that bad. I didn't even think the prep was that bad. I got a clear for 10 years, so I don't have to worry about it. Hey, Laura. Hello, hey, Laura. Hello, beautiful girl. Thanks for coming in. All right, you guys. So, um, so because of what happened the other night, um, while I was live at midnight, some of you may know about it. Some of you may remember. Um, so someone called me for those of you that, um, we're not here. <laughs> a woman called me and I know it was a prank call. A woman called me accusing of me having an affair with her with a, an online affair with her husband. So as a result of that, and I'm not having an affair with anybody's husband, I because because I guess if if a woman was looking at um, a text message or a um, and like an email, I usually put, thank you so much, XOXO Donna. Like I always put XOs. Do you put XOs, T? Probably not. You're too professional for that. You're too corporate for that. So if you, hi, Elizabeth. Yeah, Elizabeth, it was, yeah, it was pretty crazy. Right, Daniel? Oh my God. So... I'm only putting XOs and Donna to the women in the chat. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm not putting XOs. Wait and a minute, that doesn't mean anything though. Oh, true. No, she said husband, but a husband could be a woman no, too. but you know what? Yeah. Yeah, yeah a husband could be a woman too, right? Yes, it could be. I never thought of it that way. Interesting. So, um, so I'm changing the way I say um, thank you. I'm not going to be putting 
XOs anymore and thank yous. I'm just gonna say I'm just gonna say thank you. That's it. I'm just gonna say thank you, Donna. Usually it's thank you, XO, XO, Donna. I don't want anybody to get the wrong impression. <laughs> yeah. And I might stop putting hearts in the chat too. I don't know. I'm just yeah, I don't know. Oh my god, no, never on my phone. <laughs> Mr. Turtle Trader. What is that? X-E-N, X-E-N. What is that? Hi, Babette. Thanks for coming in. Hi, Babette. Good to see you. <laughs> yeah, so it was pretty, uh, for those of you that didn't see it or hear about it, it was, I mean, we know it was It was a troll. <laughs> Rachel, be careful with those XOs. <laughs> it's a Southern thing. Um. Everybody calls me sweetheart, honey, baby, in stores. As a New Yorker, I had to get used to it. Yeah, I, I call people darling a lot. Whoa, Donatella, don't sacrifice yourself and your personality, especially if it's if it was a prank. I know, Laura, it was so funny because there was so many times I went to go, like, um, you know, sign invoices today when I was sending out invoices. And I was like, no, I can't put an XO. You know, what if, what if it was real? What if it was, what if it really was a woman who, you know, got like her husband's phone? Cause, because a man, a man did text me last week. I'm not going to say who it is. He's not here in the chat right now, but I think he texted me. Um, am I going to see you tonight? <laughs> and I responded, depends how tired I am. I think I'll be going on. So, <laughs> so if a woman got a man's phone and they saw that kind of text message, am I going to see you tonight? Are you right. going on tonight? It could be a little suspicious. And then they get into their email and they see, you know, invoices, pictures thank you donna xoxo <laughs> oh my god i mean think about it it could be really bad for some men i'm charging them for pictures two hundred dollars for pictures men pay crazy money for ephemera like I can't control that, you guys. So I've stopped the XOXO. And yeah. So so we're not doing that anymore. People so. are upset that you're gonna stop that though. What? They're upset that you're gonna stop that though. But T, I mean honestly, if you went into Robbie's chat and you saw an email and it said pictures, right? And then thank you so much, XOXO Donna. Listen, if Robbie's sending out pictures to other women, hey, if you guys are interested. <laughs> I've been thinking a lot about this, you guys, because I'm like, like, what would it, what did I do to give a woman the impression that I was having an affair with her husband? And uh, yeah, and I said customer, exactly. And I said customer. I'm like, oh, he's probably just one of my customers. <laughs> I said to the woman, it's all, it's you guys, it's live. Yeah, I said to the woman, I don't know what you're talking about. He's just one of my customers. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god it's like i haven't stopped thinking about it but i know it was a prank i mean my, i know i know this i know there's some youtubers out there that like to like prank call people <laughs> john <laughs> John was so funny. He wrote in the chat, oh my God, I'm going to burn my phone. <laughs> oh my God, I know. It was like, oh my God. It's like, what? just leave it. Just me. This is me, you guys. This is my world. This is my world. I know, right? This is my world. Right, Jumba? Yeah, that's it. It's even a real person. Because I still say they pick the one and only night Donna is live at 11 something, okay? Yeah. They didn't call at 11 o'clock in the morning or two days after or two right. days before they picked when she was live. 
like the pizza delivery. And I, I just got done. I just got done opening up my life and telling everyone about some, and I didn't even tell everybody all of it. Like Schreiker was like, "Can we leave that story for another night?" I have a lot of stories for other nights. I can't make my can't make this shit up. Well, we were already at forty minutes. I know, I know, and I was telling people about the trials and tribulations that we had when we moved to Florida and just in a nutshell, not to talk about it again, but in a nutshell, my husband really wants to move back to Boston and I don't want to move back to Boston. And I have a girl who's a senior in high school who doesn't want to move back to Boston. And I have a girl who might, that's another story, be going to college. She is going to college, but we might be changing colleges. That's a story. That's another story. Um, that's what I've been dealing with for the past two days, you guys. Well, actually, it's been longer than two days, but there's a lot of shit going on right now in my family. But hey, anyway, huh? I just said, hey, Froggy. Yes, yeah. yes, 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 John, go hey, ahead. Froggy. Go ahead. Go ahead. You have time. What's that? She wants to go smoke. I told her to go ahead. Who? Cool. No. Saxton, sit down. She goes upstairs and smokes. She's not coming back. She says that all the time. <laughs> I'm good, Leon. Thank you, honey. <clears throat> yeah. Leo Babette a wrench. Who? Babette. Babette doesn't. I haven't. I'm not over on YouTube, so I don't know who has a wrench and who doesn't. Babette P does not have a wrench. I'm glad. Look at all the look at all the laugh faces. <laughs> I'm glad I could make you guys laugh. Hey, it's, it's fine, but the YouTube name is just not the same as all. Yeah, we have your YouTube name as your full name, Babette, not Babette P. I mean, I can I can I could change it right now since I'm right here with it. Patties, why are you yelling at me? Why is Patties yelling at me? I don't know. I think Donna paid someone $20 to call them. Next time, Donna, I'll do it for five. <laughs> right? Yeah. Like, I need to add my own drama to the channel. There's, right. plenty, of, there's plenty of drama on its own. Yeah, no need for any of that. Elizabeth says, Babette is good, y'all. Go ahead and wrench her. All right. Yeah, I got her. We got her. She Thank you, Elizabeth. Her. Thank you for the, um, for the uh, recommendation. Thank you, Babette. I know how much time it takes. I bring my daughter back to college Monday. I hate to see her go. Right, Peggy? Hi, Heather. Hey, Heather. Try yelling Donner. That will get her attention. She's one of the rock folk. Oh, awesome. Yeah, go over to Laura's channel, you guys, if you want to get stoned. Was that inappropriate? <laughs> was it? Laura, was that inappropriate, honey? <laughs> hey, Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> Laura. <laughs> Almost to 700. Congratulations. That's awesome, you guys. Go subscribe to Laura. She's Bobby awesome. G, I'm sorry. They're gone. I sold them. Well, Can I, I, have have the, some, I have some salt and peppers, but I didn't bring them tonight. Oh, I'll do that, Tupperware though. Tupperware ones? Huh? Tupperware ones? Oh, I don't know about Tupperware. I don't yeah, know. they want Tupperware ones. Uh-oh. I only had one set of Tupperware ones anyway. I think I, 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 think I want to say that um, Jen Bennett bought them, if I'm not mistaken. I don't even remember. There's it's Christina. Christina, thank you so much. She did. She, uh, she deterred a, um, I had written Christina won something and she emailed me right away and said, I didn't, I didn't win that Christine O'Brien did. So thank you. Mwah. Thank you so much for that. And, um, we were just talking, Oh, wait a minute. Who was it? Um, who was it? Karen says must be something in the air. I've been dealing with fraud for the last two days. What kind of fraud, Karen? Karen. Hey, Barbara Paul, welcome in. Good to see you. That would be us, stoners and rock hounds. Yep. I'll, I'll try to bring him in a couple days. Salt and peppers. 
Oh, and Susan, to answer your question, there's no con condensed version when I talk. You know that. Maddie says here, let me uh, release it, that she just posted a video on her YouTube channel, you guys. So if you haven't already gone over to subscribe to my friend Maddie, Madeline, um, please do so. She's uh, trying to grow her channel also. Hey, Susan. Hey, Believable Blessings. Hello, Believable Blessings. Thank you for coming in. We'll be on the hunt for Tupperware somewhere else. Who's looking for Tupperware? I did it in New York before I left. I don't know who's in the chat and who's not in the chat. What are you talking about? And it was only one set of salt and pepper shakers with one missing top. I don't know. They wanted Tupperware. I sold oh. some Tupperware way back when before I left New York. You guys, my, hey, Amy Billings. Hello, hello. Oh, and Cool Ranch Dorito came in. I missed her too. I didn't see her. Hi, Amy. Why is Elsie putting a big question mark in yeah. the chat? What's up, Elsie? We we said hi. No. Someone tapped into my account and was charging me eighty nine eighty seven for a fake membership. Oh, sorry about that, Karen. I don't know how that happens. She's no blame, Denise. Denise has all your Tupperware, guys. Oh, so what I was going to say, you guys know my friend Jenea. She comes into the chat mm -hmm. all the time. She actually, like two months ago, asked me if um, I was interested in selling her Tupperware. She has a whole bunch of Tupperware. Jenea, are you watching, honey? I don't know if she's watching, but um, yeah, she, so I'll, I, um, love, love Jenea. Yeah, she's a sweetheart. So I'll tell her to uh, maybe bring it by this weekend and I'll, I'll make her get on the screen and sell it herself. She won't do it. I've asked her so many times to come on camera and I think she did once, remember? Oh, you know why LC's asking? Did Nettie Bo Diddley get straightened out? What's that mean? What's that? She's one of our new uh, subscribers, our new renters. I mean, really we, sure. we got a registration, but I thought maybe it was something else. Yeah, I'm not sure what she means by that. Sorry, Elsie, I'm not sure what you mean by that. So, and Susan, this part that they're talking about right now, this delay that's going on right now, I'm not taking the blame for that. That's all them. <laughs> Look at you with the face. Look at you with I'm the not, face. Yeah, I'm not talking. It's, it's like when T starts talking about serious rules, she goes like this. She don't want to know about it. Who does? You do. Oh, yeah, I do. <laughs> I do. Oh, man, you guys. Wicked, wicked stress at the Bottolino house again. Oh, my gosh. We're going. We're under so much stress right now. There's a lot of big changes. I'll share them with you as soon as uh, it's finalized. But yeah, there's some big changes going on again at the Bottolino house. I mean, I think it's good. You oh, know, she's your sister, Elsie. Okay. I'm all about. Uh, <sighs> Have you sent the barring jewelry box? What's a barring jewelry box? It does sound like I'm in the tunnel, really? I don't know what a barring jewelry box is. I don't know. What jewelry box did you sell to her? I sold one to Mr. Turtle Trader, and then I sold two uh, to... I sold, sold one to Frank the other night. I sold one to Frank, and I can't remember... Who who bought the uh, the person that bought the one with the lighters? Uh, Christine O'Brien. She bought the other two. She bought the box with the lighters, and then she bought the really pretty one with the key. I don't know which jewelry box she's talking about. Um, T, you teeny bit blurry on the lens. Is the lens dirty? Oh, thanks, Jules. Yep, that's better. 
Oh, yes. Yes, 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 Karen. It's coming to you. It's inside of a big box coming UPS. Yes, the ballerina. Yes, you're getting that. Yep. And all of the UPS orders got picked up today. D, do I sound okay? There's a just T that's a little low. Uh, is it really? Am I sounding low? Yeah. yeah. A little lower, yeah. Really? Well, it's not really low. It's just not like crisp. It's like kind of like distant almost. Am I the same way? No, you're crisp. No, I think it's probably because she may not have an external microphone. Yeah. And we do. We have the Yetis. One of these kids is not like the other. Can you guys, can you guys, um, oh, do I have to let her back in? No, she's not back yet. It's slightly echoey. Um, <clears throat> well, I'm not here to talk anyway, Pat. Hello? Yes. Hey there, ma'am. Sorry about the interruption. My name is Ricky with ICG Mortgage. How's your day going? Oh, uh, take my name off your calling list, please. I sure will, ma'am. Okay, have a blessed day. Thank you. So, you guys, I made a really big mistake today. I did something really, really bad. I went on my um, my my car payment company that owns my 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 car because I don't own my car. I mean, I own it, but I don't own it. I don't own it until I pay for it. So it said you qualify for a lower um, insurance rate. And I was like, oh, according to your Aquifax score, you qualify for a lower insurance rate. Just click here. So I clicked here. And then all of my information was already filled in in the boxes. My name, my address, my phone number, um, the year and make of the model. Because it was through the bank. It was through the bank. And so then a whole bunch of options came up. Geico. Like I have progressive. Like Geico and whatever other options came up. So I clicked on Geico and um, my phone has not stopped ringing. So my bank that owns the mortgage on my truck sold my phone number to like every insurance carrier company that there is. And my phone has not stopped ringing. So FYI, you guys, oh, knock, knock, I see you. FYI, you guys, do not. That's not what happened. What happened? You searched out, you clicked something on the internet. It has nothing to do with the guy who, who has your truck loan. It has to do with the fact that you clicked on a link. That was a bait. That was a fish, what they call a phishing scheme. It was on, it was on the website for the bank though. It was on the website it doesn't matter you clicked it you brought those people it's like when we were moving and i clicked on the moving link now we had 400 movers calling us not you haul the other people because these things pop up when you when something but why would my why would my bank have that on my on my like profile home page because they obviously want to get their customers they probably get a vig it's like what what do you what did you do sell all your lists to amazon did you sell everybody's email address to amazon no but i don't think but i don't when you tap your no, amazon wait wait wait, wait. People buy from it it's not that amazon bought your list you directed people over there it's the same thing with the car company no it was not it was not it was not laura it was didn't say it did not say it was a paid ad it was an actual like I could do a screen share and show it to you, but it would have all, all my personal information. So I don't think that's a good idea, but it was actually in the body of my profile of my homepage. It had my truck, the year, make and model, what my payment is. And then right underneath it, right underneath it, it didn't say ad. It just said, according to the Aquifax, your Aquifax score, you qualify for a reduced insurance payment. So I clicked on the box. It didn't say ad. It looked like it was, 
to me, honestly, it looked like the bank itself was offering like their own private insurance on the vehicle. No, they probably get a VIG. If whoever whoever you sign up with, they'll get a VIG because you came to them through their link. What? It's like Amazon. You get a VIG every time somebody clicks on your link. It yours oh. doesn't look like an advertisement. See, Jules said, you don't think banks sell ad space to show on your page? Yeah. They're the worst at selling stuff. Yeah, yeah they, sh they show ads on their page. I think it's terrible. I think it's terrible that they did that. My phone hasn't stopped ringing all afternoon yeah. with different companies asking if I'm you know, ready to get a quote on, on my car. It's unbelievable. Hi, Miss Ivy. Welcome in. Hi, Miss Ivy. Hi, Doreen. <laughs> Doreen, the tea of Tiavage. What's a tea of age? No, a vig. A vig. I don't know. It's just a word. It's just, you What's know. What's a tea of age? No, she's like tea. A vig? Really? Laugh out loud. <laughs> Iron Crane. Welcome in. Hey, Iron Crane. <laughs> I know, Jen. It's, I know. I know it's, it's, it's like, I, I'm not going to, I'm not going to get into it right now. I mean, w there's going to be a, in her mind, her decision has been made, but there'll, there'll be a final decision tomorrow. It's, uh, it's tough, you know, it's, you know, it's just, uh, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Um, but we're, we're gonna we're we're trying to work it through as um, as a family. Is a tea a vig a new type of tea <laughs> box? They want to know. Yeah, Christina, Christina, you missed the compliment we all gave you. You're the only one who still does a great job sending an email. Bo, you okay? Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought you were sniffling there for a minute. She's fine. Lots of things going on. Do you want to do you want to pop your head in and say hello to everybody? Hello. I look kind of ratchet she, right now. You always look beautiful. Oh. She um she helped me a ton yesterday. You were here all day until really late. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she helped me a ton yesterday, you guys. She works so hard. I know, Jen. Yeah. Forget about it, Pat D Forget says. About it. <laughs> okay, so um, let's get this show on the road. A hundred and three of you here. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Um, appreciate appreciate you all very, very much. Please don't forget to hit the thumbs up. It helps the algorithm. And always, 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 if you can come back and make a comment on the video, that also helps the algorithm. I got a nice boost in subscribers the past couple of weeks. So thank you to anybody that shared my videos or um, had given me a shout out um, because, yeah, I, I got like the most subscribers like in the past week and a half. And I, and I think that probably Renee had a lot to do with that because he gave me such a great shout out. Yeah, probably. Um, yeah, I'm trying to get him on the show, you guys, so we can like uh, compare war stories, maybe even He'll be before. here. We'll get him. Yeah, he's done filming in about three weeks, and then we'll get him on. Yeah, talk about story awesome. wars and units and all all kinds of stuff. Yeah, no more hearts for you, Pat D's. You're not getting any more hearts. Hi, Jenny. Welcome in, honey. <laughs> No men. Men are not getting hearts anymore. Period. No more hearts for men. Just I don't discriminate. I give hearts to whoever I want to give hearts to. Well, I might I might start giving hearts again. But I was <laughs> a little reluctant today. Let me tell you. I was a little reluctant. Oh, Susan, stop. Um, guys, make sure you're on live chat, not top chat like T is right now, because YouTube loves to default it back. <laughs> Daniel saying what wait and everybody else in the chat is like oh god don't ask her again she's going to tell that story again <laughs> no awesome. pet deeds. we're not taking your wrench away smarty pan okay you guys here we go shriker's dropping the links he's ready to rock and roll baby this is an as is auction auction no returns no refunds given be sure you know what you're bidding on and your bid is a contract to pay. If you do not pay, you may be banned from the auction, guys. Keep that in mind. 
Um, let's see, minimum bidding increments, two to 50, five after 50. And then if we reach a hundred, it's $10 after that. John Jones, I had to change my phone contacts. Donatella is now. <laughs> oh, God, I don't even know. John, you miss when you're not here, John. John, John, you're so funny. John, that could get you in a lot of trouble too, but he doesn't text me anyways. But if but if the name comes up as Don Bottolino and, and you text me things like, are you going on tonight? <laughs> Your wife, and I don't know if you're married, might get a little suspicious of that as well. Okay, free shipping, you guys, on $30 or more purchases per seller. Purchases can be combined after a few days. Yes. Donna Shriver, are you in the chat? Because I have um, some green glassware that you bought. Let me know if you want me to invoice you um, the shipping on that. Okay. Or if you're watching this at a later time, please do not put comps and prices in the chat about the items being auctioned. It's okay to say things like, oh, I've sold that before, but yeah, please no comps because it drives up the price and anybody who's bidding on it. Uh, cool Ranch, Dorito, Amy, nothing is spam. Are you sure you are? Okay, or maybe try my text. Okay, Amy, thank you for straightening that out. Um, yes, please I am praying it really is his room. He's asking if that striker is really his room or a backdrop. I know it's really his room. He built those uh, bookshelves. It's amazing. Please let the mod on duty take care of the problems. Do not time people out with your wrenches, folks. Um, Pet D, stop. Uh oh, Ronnie, time for a nap, honey. I, I'm I'm with you. I'm gonna take one when when T's showing. No, they're not. They're not tapestries. It's really his room. Nobody, nobody believes him. He has to <laughs> grab, put, reach over and grab a book and show them. Put him on big screen. Oh, now I have to do. Put him on the big screen. I got too much stuff on the floor now. Building lots. There you go. There. See. They're really books. Yeah, see, Ron, he's like, pull a book out and prove it. I believe. Do you? In Santa Claus? <laughs> no, it's okay, Iron Crane. You're good, honey. You're good. There you are. the first one who asked. Oh, okay, Donna. Donna, let me know the green glassware that you bought. Let me know what you want me to do with it, honey. Okay, and I'm going to ask Marilyn Gotti, a.k.a. Rim, if you're in the chat, let me know what you want to do with your mags. Yeah, right. Pat D's, I don't know. Probably more than that. I would have to guess more than that. Because if I know Schreiker, he's a... Uh, do you have an extra insurance carrier on your homeowner's insurance for your books? I hope you do. Right. Okay. So you want, you want to go first T and then, um, because I think that you should show as much as you can and I'll fill in. Because I, need then a, I need a couple of minutes. I had to take Robbie home. I didn't ha really have a lot of time. So, okay. Well, I, mean, I have a lot ready, but then I got to take, I got to, I got to move things around. Okay. Well, if you have a lot ready, go ahead and sell it. And then I'll do like four or five lots. I have some one-off shoes that I can sell. Um, and I can do some, and, but then I think you should take up most of the show because then that you're going to go home. Um, so you're not there too late and then I'll take the second half of the show. And if you want to tune in from home, um, and just okay. keep company. Okay. Sell as much yeah. as you can while you're at the store. Cause she doesn't like to stay late at the store. You guys. So, um, there's, there's Patrick Leeson. Hmm. Okay. All right. T are you sure you're ready? Cause I can go on if you want me to. Where's Patrick Leeson. Oh, ah, look there. at that. That's awesome. All right. Go ahead. Oh, Mary said she just received her Department 56 and she loves them. Aw, awesome, Mary. Thank you, Mary. I want, more. 
Um, I don't know if I'll show them today, but I do have some more I found today. So, um, okay, Susan, thanks for coming in, honey. Maybe we'll still be on when you're done with your project. Thank you for the support. Don't forget the thumbs up on the way out the door, please. Okay, what was the what was the plan? You going to show, or do you want me to? Well, I'll show this lot I have with, on uh, sitting okay, on my are you putting right your now. Are you putting your second camera on? Oh yes. I okay, that's I'm putting, I'm putting me. I I have to switch just me out. That's what I basically have to do. Okay, there she is. Because I don't have that the other laptop as the camera has completely the whole camera itself even by putting an external camera in has just crapped out. All right, guys, this is what I have. Okay. Excuse Thank me you. one second. Excuse me one second. Donna says I will pay, but I really want the jar with the lid. Is it behind me? The jar with the lid? I don't know. Okay. We'll see. All right. We'll talk about it in, in a minute. Laura says, Oh my God, my childhood. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this is what we have. Okay, um, this is what I could get in the screen. This is going to be kind of a decent sized lot, guys, just FYI. But this is what I could get in the screen. All right, it's the Fisher Price A Frame Play Family. Look, it even has like a sliding glass door to go out. Both sides, and they both work. Then we have the schoolhouse. Dirt and dust is always free here at the auction, guys. I did not prep any of this. It definitely will need to be cleaned. It will need a good bath for sure. And it will need a little bit of a glue repair right here at the bottom where the paper is starting to come off of the bottom of that. So I know everyone's going to ask this question. Are there any little people to go with it? Um, there are not, unfortunately, the little people kind of went in some other toy lots. I'm still looking. I'm sure I have a little bit more. I'm not sure what this honestly goes to. It's a part to, a to what, oh my God, this rain just has not stopped today. Probably some other kind of house or whatever, but I'm going to include it in there because maybe it could be in the scene of something. Here is, um, this is actually not um, play school, but I threw it in here again. It's just dirty. It just needs to be cleaned. Um, and this is uh, the post office, the hospital, and the emergency room. This is one of the Fisher-Price circus trains. This one, I'm not sure either. It's branded Fisher Price, but it looks like possibly there might have been some parts or pieces. Maybe you can piece that out as a, <clears throat> you know, just a piece. This is a little horsey one that holds the little people. Again, I don't have any little people in here. This um, is Mattel, but it's a little wooden truck, so I threw it in here. This is one of the beds. Again, does need a good cleaning. Um, this is Fisher Price on that. I'm not sure what house that honestly fits into, but it's there. And then the other thing that I'm going to include is uh, the Fisher Price barn, which is this one here. And no barn animals. I'm still trying to find the barn animals. I know I have them someplace, but I'll bring those at a later date. Probably a bunch of um, animals all together at some point. Did you show the train? Yes. Okay. Um, again, it just needs to be clean. There's some crayon on here. Just use a magic eraser. It'll come off in one, two, three, no problem. 
I'm going to see if I, I, that's why I didn't originally have this in here, because all of this takes up so much room, it's hard to show everything. But let's see, now that I've at least individually shown everything, maybe I can put this up here so you guys just, because I want to add a few other little, little items, which these I'm just tossing in because I did find some little toys. They don't go to this, but I'm just going to put them in because I have so much. And for those of you that like to do toys and smalls and stuff, this I could just fit inside. It looks like a lot of uh, figures. Sylvester, here's a, a little puppy dog and Dalmatian within a tuba. Okay, Heather, do you want to be at 40 or do you want to be at 55? I'm not sure. You have the high bid at 40 right now. All right. Oh, that ring. Here's another Dalmatian one. God, the ring. It's ridiculous. I can't stand it. Just <laughs> no, so if you guys do like to sell these little... Um, these little kind of smalls. Yeah, I'm just throwing the Dalmatians in there because I have, um, like I said, and maybe you can use one of the pups even. His is one of the ones that moves, you know, with, with one of the homes or something. I don't know. And those will be easy to kind of fit in between um, with some of those houses and stuff. I can pack them inside so it won't take up any real additional room. Nice and small. Dropping everything? I don't know why. Do you have all 101 Dalmatians? I do not. Who is that? Pat D's asking that question. No, that was me. Oh, <laughs> Just sounded like a Pat. I thought it might come eventually, though. Right there. <laughs> all right. So that's like all. Well, Eh, a little a little one off on that but if you guys sell smalls and toys and things like that that's you know still a great lot to kind of maybe even keep some pat d's left the room okay patrick thank you one of these days i'll get the animals for the house Oh, she'll be here at some point, Daniel. <laughs> she buys toys. She buys mystery toy boxes from me all the time. She knows what I have. All right, we've got Heather B for fifty-five waiting on Pam Henry. Let's see if she all wants right, to come back let in. Us know, Pam. Pam's in for 60. And if you guys want, I mean, I can I can probably bring a toy box 
uh, too. It'll just be a mixture of toys. Just grab a box and kind of do almost like an unboxing right here. Um, but it could be a combination of Disney and Fisher Price and uh, Play School. Smalls, you know, little toys, little doll furnitures and cups and plates and food and things like that. Yeah, Pam, I sold a lot of it in mystery boxes. I don't, haven't been able to come across too much more. Um, you'll have to reach out to some people who bought the mystery toys from me because I know a lot of the little people went in those. All right, we have Heather 65. Pam, if you'd like to do 70, you're out. Thank you. Iron Crane, you know better than that. You know we're not politically correct. <laughs> Hey, Christy. Hundred and eleven um, people watching. Thank you. Okay, Heather. I'll. I'm. I. I have also. I'm going to bring. Um. At some point again, I don't know about now. See if I can get to it. But uh, some weapons and things like that. All kinds of little accessories and things. Maybe I'll put something together with that. Yes, Christina. I know you did probably in one of the things. All right, we're sold to Heather. Thank you, Heather. Donna? Yes, I'm here. Okay, just switch me on. Okay. Thank you. All right, you guys. Um, this is going to be my first lot. Let me put this on the screen. Okay. So these are three jewelry, um, three cosmetic boxes. This one is brand new and it's a Toomey. Um, if you guys don't know the name Toomey, you can look it up. It's uh, brand new, never been used. It's in excellent condition. And inside here I put um, some makeup. So some of it is brand new. For example, this one is called Bare Minerals. So that's a Bare Min Minerals and it's sealed. Um, here is a Bobbi Brown. Um, some of them look like they may have been touched. So it's up to you whether you want to throw it away. There's fingernail polish. I'll just go through really quick. There's these LA looks. Here's a brand new brush. It's called a, what's it say? Base blender. Thank you. I couldn't read it without my, oh, it's a Bobbi Brown. That's a Bobbi Brown. Some more polish. This one is a Peter Thomas Roth and it's brand new. Um, this one is a dipping powder. This is a compact and it's brand new, but it's missing the brush on it. This one is pure, how do you pronounce that? <laughs> I'm going to let you try that one. <laughs> Maracucha. Something. Mar let me see, let me see, let me see. Some more Maracucha. <laughs> Maracucha. Maracucha um, oil. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Some more polish. This one's ice. Um, here's another brush. And this one is... 
e.l.f. This is a brand new cookie cutouts lip balm. Here's another little brush called e.l.f. Here's another little brand new um, eyeshadow. This one is Salon Selects Peel and Apply. Peel and Apply Polish. Um, here is a Mali eyeshadow. Um, oh, this is the paperwork for the Toomey. So you can list the Toomey as brand new. This is a brow kit to do eyebrows and it has a tweezer in there. Okay, so that's everything in that little cosmetic one. Let's put everything back in there. So uh, I, think, you, Crane. I think just about, oh, Iron Crane. You stay awesome too, Iron Crane. Thank you so much for the love and support. You're awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Iron Crane. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, so there's that little pouch filled with cosmetics. And you ladies know how expensive cosmetics are. So this one, I think this one is empty. It says ID on it. And it's one of those your cosmetics so you get that as well Quick little cosmetic case and then you get this one also and this one I filled with a bunch of stuff in it we'll go through it see what's in here this is Mally it's a cover up. This one is, is that passion oil? <laughs> I don't know. You think Charisma four pack roller balls, um, passion oil. This one is Revlon stay. This one is Revlon stay. This is another Mally. That's brand new. This one is Miracle Worker by um, uh, Philosophy. Philosophy, thank you. Philosophy. I don't know if it has a expiration date on it. Here's another little makeup tool thing. Some uh, what is that? Nail Experts, Strong Results, LinkedIn. All right. Some more polish. <coughs> Aziza. This one is Aziza 2. See if I can open it without breaking it. It's missing the little applicator brush, but it looks like it's new. This one's LA Colors. This also looks brand new. This one is L'Oreal. It's called Hip. It's that color. Um, this one is also brand new. So a lot of cosmetics in here. Here's a uh, French manicure set, three piece French manicure set. Here is another Bare Minerals. And that's just a mirror that goes in there. That's it. So you get three cosmetic cases. Two of them are filled with cosmetics. Most everything is new. I don't think I'm going to be able to fit these in there again. I don't know how 
we got them in there last time. Or maybe I just put them on the top. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, there you have it. We have, let's see, hi, bid. Elizabeth at 95. Wow, that shot up fast. <laughs> I wasn't it's even yet. looking at it. Yeah, you guys know how expensive cosmetics are. If you went to CVS, this would, first of all, you wouldn't be able to find this kind of makeup, a lot of it in CVS. And I know when my girls say, Mama, we need to go to CVS, I have anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> Because it, it's like a hundred dollars for like five things out the door. Yep. It's right. makeup is so stinking expensive. All right, Pam, let us know. We need a hundred or more. My daughters are constantly, I, I only wear lipstick, eyeliner, and a little mascara, and sometimes just a little bit of blush if I'm if I'm pale, because I'm always so pale, because I have the thalassemia trait, so I, I look like I'm anemic a lot, and my girls come over and they steal my makeup, and I only have like those like few little <laughs> things, and they still, it's usually the mascara that they take. Mascara is like $18 in the store. Hmm. Yeah, geez, that's all you use too. Yeah, that's my whole life. That's really all I've ever used. I don't use cover up. I, I can't stand the way it feels on my face. Cover up. I feel like I'm wearing a mask. Hi, Sandy. Thanks for coming in. All right, we're sold, sold, sold to Elizabeth. Nice lot, Elizabeth. For $95. Awesome. Lot number one, makeup. Oh yeah, you Elizabeth, you're I mean um Jules, you're allergic to it. It's too bad. I don't think I'm allergic to anything. I don't have any kind of reaction to things. <clears throat> there we go again, clearing my throat. Okay, let's look and see what's in here. I've got this one and one other one. Let's see what this one is first. So this has um, it's a tops care instructions hand wash only to ensure lasting beauty. This is Nolan Ryan. Nolan Ryan from the Rangers and it comes with this. Are you just going to do this one plate or yep. multiple? Okay, yep. one plate. Let's do this. We'll do a $10 start. So I guess you put that like that and you put it in front of the plate for display. Looks like it. Is he anybody? Does anybody know if he's a per if he's like he's a Hall of Famer. He was oh, a great one. Oh, is he? Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's uh, numbered. No, that's a baseball card, Pam. Um is that a paper card? I don't think so. I think it's plastic. Really? That's odd. I would have thought regular cardboard too. 
All right, my bad. It is plastic. Oh, no, it's not. Yeah. It's like ceramic. Yeah, that's what Pam is saying. Yeah. It's a ceramic card. That's odd. Interesting. Yeah, that's a ceramic card. That's not plastic. Well, that's a lot better than plastic anyway. <laughs> and they stuck the COA to the back side of it. It says limited to 30 firing days. Hmm. Limited edition, and it's numbered there, too. Looks like it's written in, like, real marker, right? Yeah, they should be the same number, probably on the plate in the card. It's not. Numbers. This one is... 2864. 2864. Oh, it is, sorry. Hi, Bluegrass. What's the company? Tops. That's who made it. That's who, that's who owns the rights. Is that who made it, though? Licensed by Tops. Let's see. I, I got to get my eyeball. Manufactured by RLM. RLM. Good morning, Anthony. Pretty. Did it have a plate holder? No. Mm -mm. No. Okay. No plate holder. Nope, there's nothing else left in this box. I've never seen the, uh, the the card like that before. A ceramic card? Yeah. Mm. That makes sense, though. A cardboard one probably wouldn't last very well there. So that's kind of neat. Well, that doesn't peel off easily. I was going to see what it was underneath it, but it doesn't peel off. I might have a plate holder. Let me go check in this cabinet. Yeah, bluegrass. He was a great pitcher for sure. have one and you know how old this is this is so old that i used to have this in my thrift shop you see what it says on it not for sale yeah because i used to use it to display things so i probably won't include that because i'll probably just keep it but i'll just use it for displaying it but plate holders are pretty inexpensive to pick up yeah Kim Henry's winning it for 35. Yes, she is. Nolan Plate. Thank you, Pam. Thank you so much. If 
seen a lot of plates, but I've never seen a plate like that. Well, I've seen a lot of baseball cards, but never one like that. T, let me know when you're ready, okay, honey? All right, I have another one. Let's look and see what's in this one. Same one. Nolan? Nolan Ryan. Yep, it's the same one. So Pam would have first choice if she wants it. If not, it can go to um, the backup bidder. Okay, let's ask, ask Pam first. And Sandy would be the backup if, if Pam passes. She says yes. Okay, awesome, Pam. Thank you. Oh, Sandy. Yep. <laughs> Sandy was one, one too. Oh, Sandy, I'll look, honey. I'll see if I have any more. I'll bring some more to auction. I might have more. Okay, so this is times two. T, are you ready? I see your table. But she's not answering me. Okay. Let's start this off at $15. You get the box. And this is what's inside. It's pretty jam packed. So it's, uh, I'm gonna, this is the box has got some damage on it right there. Hi, Deborah. So I'll take some out and show you. Um, Christmas ribbon. Anybody who does crafts or reselling. Quite a bit there. Oh. This is beautiful. That's what I would use for my house. Now, would you put that on a tree or on packages? You can put it on a tree, you can put it on packages, on wreaths, whatever you like. It's just a little piece. Here's a pretty brown one. That doesn't necessarily, Junebug, I knew you'd bid on this. This one is a beautiful velvet. And here is a beautiful star spangled one with a opalescent glitter. You probably can't see it on the camera, but it has um, beautiful glitter on it. Here's a bunch of gold. Here's a bunch of what looks like lame, all wired. Um, here's a big roll of, this is beautiful. I would use this also. Whoops. What happened to my camera? It's acting up. Um, okay, it's back. It's weird. Probably got hot. I don't know. Look how much is there. Um, now, are all of them wired on the sides? Yep. Yep. Yeah, it's beautiful. This one's gorgeous. This can be not just for Christmas. It can be for anything. If you buy, buy some craft uh, brown craft paper and tie this around it to give a gift, beautiful. 
Here's another huge, massive amount of it, that same. Here's some more gold and more gold and more gold, all wired. Here is two rolls of tulle with sparkles. Here is a big roll of black and white. Here's a big roll of plaid. More gold. More gold. And here are some just bits and pieces of more. And that's all of it. Christine, enjoy your dinner, honey. Come back after dinner. Amy comes in at 17. Thank you, Amy. Thank you, Junebug. These collections comes in at 19. Yes, Frank, box included. Yes, box included. It's my favorite. I'm so pretty. Very beautiful, very festive. Dees is out. June's at 30. And it's all wired. Every bit of it. <clears throat> oh, except for the tool. And this is, this one's the tool that's not wired. This is what um, Junebug makes to make, to do her beautiful wreaths that she makes. Okay, Frank, enjoy dinner, honey. Come back when you're done. Make sure you bring dessert. I have mm -hmm. coffee. T, why is she not answering me? I'm sorry, I was on the other side of the room. Oh, I've been calling you and calling you. You scare me when you don't answer me. Sorry. I get nervous. You asked me to get some lots together, so that's what I've been doing. Okay, good, good, good. I'm glad you are. Because I'm in no rush tonight, and I just had a pot of coffee, so I'm ready to go. So we'll let you show. And then when you go home, I'll show. All right, Junebug's winning it. Awesome, Junebug. I don't know how I fit this all in here the first time. Oh my gosh, Bo. <laughs> Are you kidding? Jeez. Um, <laughs> I'm the Palm State coach wants me. What? Palm Beach State coach wants me. The Palm Beach State coach wants me full scholarship? And he said, can I call you soon? Or like, when can I call you soon? You go, girl. She must have snuck up on you. Bo? Yeah. She she is in the bathroom and she just came out 
perfectly like made up. Like she looks like, oh, come here, come show yourself. <laughs> she looks like a supermodel. <laughs> here, here, I'll show you. This is what she she showed up. <laughs> She's been putting on makeup. <laughs> She's like a little girl playing with makeup. <laughs> Our lips match. <laughs> so funny all right june bug thank you honey 37 dollars. all right i'll write that down and a model, a model and a kiss t-shirt right no kidding yeah she, they love their concert t-shirts they absolutely love them thank you peggy yes yeah, she is she's so cute um kind of happy she might not be going away to college Shh, did i say that out loud i don't know we'll see okay um Hey, Craig, you're back. Okay, here you go, T. T's All up. Right. Okay, my camera's a little off-centered, sorry. All right. 36 pieces, 12 and 24. 12 bears, 24 plush balls. It's all plush. All new with tags, all branded Pittsburgh Pirates, all Major League Baseball. Usual starting price? Yes, sir. It's all genuine merchandise from the MLB. Twelve bears, twenty four balls. What year was what year was that 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 happened in Pittsburgh? Uh, Two thousand and eight, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. It was at the PNC Ballpark. Maybe six, not sure. Craig says 2008. 2006, actually. There it is. Six. Oh, it says 2006 on it. Six, sorry. There we go. 2006. Craig was there. There. I should have went right to the bear itself instead of looking all over the tags and everything. <laughs> all right. Any interest out there? $30 start. 36 pieces total. All right. How about first thirty dollars in the chat gets it? Buy it now. All right. Buy it now. Thirty. Craig was a security guard. Wow. Oh. Craig's in. All right. Craig will take it for thirty dollars. Sold to Craig. Sorry. One of these days I can make a make out. Sorry if you guys are good. They didn't mean that for that to happen. All right. Thank you, Craig. All right. Instead of Bob the Builder, it's Blippo the Builder. Oh, 
don't think I've ever heard of that before. Blippo. From 1965. Again, dirt and dust is always free. So it looks like mostly Fisher Price, right? Mostly Fisher Price, yes. And that looks like a saloon or kind of. Yeah, well, it's a blacksmith. It's the sheriff's office. Um, the other side is, no, I guess the other side is just the back of it. And they have a rooftop walkway for the little people. Yeah. Again, it does need to be clean. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Anything inside the Tonka cup? Um, I think they used to put something in them. I don't remember what. No. Maybe a car or crayons or something. I don't remember. I mean, there's nothing in this one. I mean. Yep. Does the wind-up work on the little guy? Well. Um, with the, the spinny hands. hands? The guy with the hands? Yep. It's one of those wheel. Oh, you have to roll it. Okay. Yep. That's kind of how that works. Yep. And then this one's a pull mini chopper. Pull toy. This one is, although I will just notice this on the um, little wheel. This one is, well, let's see. Oh, yeah, here it is. 1970. Number on it is 448 on that. This one was Humpty Dumpty, just number 736. I don't see a year on this. So what is the blippo? Is that some sort of metal toy or wood? No, no, it's um, it's a whole box of um, just pieces. All plastic, okay. All plastic pieces. Looks like there might even be some animals. I see a, a giraffe in here. Yeah, it's just an assembly, probably of. Let's see, what does it say? Choo choo construction set and train. And then the cash register. And the cash register, and you put your, your five cents in. All right. Do we have any interest out there? $30 start? No, nobody wants this. Come on, really? You guys going to make me make this a larger there. lot? Are you guys going to make me make this a bigger lot? You're going to kill me on shipping. I got another. This is another very vintage Fisher Price pull toy. This one is I gotta put my eyes on. Hold on. This one is as old as I am. It's 55 years old, 1966. 1966. That one's going to make some noise in the box. Yeah. <laughs> How about the Fisher Price Jalopy? Now, I think he does need a pull. I, th I think it does have somebody's name on the bat on the box on the bottom. Excuse me. Uh, an original Fisher Price toy, but I don't see a year on this one. I think it's maybe it's not maybe i don't know if it's supposed to have a pole oh no maybe you hear it hey erica oh my god the cash register right. all right any other interest out there or should we close it out
Okay, so you got the helicopter. Got the jalopy. Helps if I have a box without a hole at the bottom. Jenny, you waited for the last second on that one. All right, again, the helicopter, the jalopy, the Humpty Dumpty, the saw, hatchet, the tonka, the car, the teddy. The camera is gone. <sighs> All right. Well, this might do so. Oh. I guess I'm not sure what it does. To be honest. Does it have a belt on the top where it revolves with that winder? Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't. I don't know. It's just like or is this that thing the Gatling like, gun sound. <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah. It's just maybe it is for like a shootout or something because it yeah. doesn't do much. <laughs> I guess it could be. Uh, the cash register. You got, you got, and then you got two, two and two, two of each. Two nickels, two dimes, and two quarters. And the blip -off. Yeah, Joyce, uh, fill out the form there. Registration, be sure to get your city, state, and zip. And once it comes through, we can give you a wrench and you can bid. Thank you, Joyce. I'm going to put two other pieces in here. It'll be a mystery. Thanks, Antique. T. Yes, honey. Are you good for like a half an hour? I guess I could try to be. Do you want me to show something and then you can get ready for like three or four lots in a row? Okay. Because um, Angelina is hungry and she's going to be hanging out with me a little bit here tonight. And okay. I don't have any food here at the cottage. So okay. I was going to go take her across the street to Trader Joe's to get something. Okay. What do you want to do? Yeah, um, let's sell this and then uh, show something and I'll grab a few things, maybe even a couple of one-offs or something, and I'll be good. You So you're good to stay on? I said show something after we call this. Oh, oh, oh I didn't hear that part. Okay, yeah. show something um, after they call this. Okay, got it. All right, and then I'll go grab a few more things. Thank you, Christine O'Brien. Thank you, hon. Okay, I'm going to put myself on? Yeah. Okay. Hi, guys. Okay, ready? I'm going to put my table on. All right. So I have a mixed kind of Disney lot. Um, we can start this at $30, Shriker. So you have this Christmas plate. It's called Christmas Carols. It's uh, Walt Disney characters, 1987. And it is number 8027 of... 20,000. So you get that plate. Now this, the winder on it, somebody overwound it. I didn't do it. It's the way it was found. It's a Disney. It's a Schmid. Um, the original price on this was $64. Now somebody might be able to unscrew these screws and tinker with it. Um, 
the wheels look like they probably spin. It's really dusty. I haven't, it's the way I found it. I haven't cleaned it. Um, but you could always list it in as is condition. I'm sure it's pretty old. Let's see if it says what year it is. It doesn't, but you know, I see the original price as uh, $64. You know, you never know. Somebody could be looking for this. Maybe their parents bought it for them and you know, they're going to, they broke it, whatever, but it needs to be cleaned. You guys, it's really kind of dirty. Um, these mugs are Disney mugs and I don't see a year on these either. And you got two of them. Here it is. There's that one and this one. So there's two of those. This, um, looks like it's pressed glass. Uh, it looks more like double G Joe than it does uh, Mickey. Let me see if there's any signatures on it. I don't know if it's signed. I didn't look at it. Let's see if I can help you out with that. Um, just checking. I'm giving it a quick once over. Um, somebody buys it. You might want to check it a little bit better than I am. Uh, for a quick glance, I don't see anything. But there it is. He's glass. I don't think it looks like Mickey, but it came with the Mickey collection. Um, I bought out a Mickey collection months and months ago. You guys remember all the Mickey stuff I had? Uh, this is basically the last of it that I have. Here's Mickey from all of the different, um, starting in 1928 to 1931, 1940, 1941. How we changed through the years, 1947 and 1955. And this is a, um, well, Disney company, and it is by applause. Applause is highly sought after. Okay, so you get that one. And then this one, it just has a Mickey on it, and it has that emblem on it. don't really know what that is, but that's what's on it. And this is a heavy, ooh, look at the dirt. Sorry. Sorry about the dirt. And then here's a Mickey uh, block of paper. These people co collected everything Mickey. I actually did a video when I went and bought this estate. I had so much Mickey stuff. And here is a tapestry woven throw, Walt Disney World, and it's Christmas. And it is a 60 by 50, and it's brand new. It's never been taken out of the package. You think that's Murano? Oh my gosh, if that's Murano, that's crazy. Do you think it is? I don't think so. Murano is from a rod. I can't tell if that's a break. You see that, you guys, right there? Usually I'm pretty good at telling. You can feel it. But I don't feel it. I don't feel the, uh, the break. Okay, so... We'll We'll pack him carefully just in case. <laughs> and then this cute little, um, this looks like a souvenir that was probably from Fort Wilderness. I don't know if anybody's ever been there before. Fort Wilderness is a, one of the Disney resorts at Disney World. And it is so awesome. We took the kids there when they were little. It is such a great place, Fort Wilderness. Okay, that's the whole lot. $30 start. If there's no interest, just pass on it. Deborah, I didn't, but I wrote you down and I didn't. I honestly, I shipped out like 50 things. Your craft lot. 
Was it a mystery lot, Deborah? Am I looking for an actual lot? Or was it a mystery lot? Oh, was it the $75 mystery lots that I sold? Because I haven't filled those orders yet. Deborah, let me know. Was it something that you bid on and bought? Am I looking for a lot or was it, or is it a $75 mystery? Was it something that you bid on, Deborah? All right, we have Peggy at 40. Thank you. Oh, your first trip, you stayed at Fort Wilderness with your daughters. Isn't it awesome, Fort Wilderness? And you take the boat on, um, uh, what's the name of that big lake up there? Uh, lake Bonavista. Lake Bona, it was when you were doing the $100 craft lots. The drop and stop, Deborah. It was a hundred dollar drop and stop. Cause I'm really caught up on my uh, shipping. I just have a couple of big boxes that need labels that are packed. Well, I'm not sure, but I'd like to have a $75 mystery lot. Pam, you're so funny. <laughs> right. All right, let's put Pam down for a $75 mystery lot. Do you know Joyce? Lot number three. I do not know Joyce. Let's see if she's got a registration. She does not. Joyce, you need to register before you bid. I'm going to drop the link for you. And once you get that filled out, let us know. Okay, we're going to put Pam. Peggy is still high bid at 45. We're going to put Pam Henry down for a $75 mystery lot. That'll be number five. Um, the makeup was one. The Nolan plates was two. Yes. Um, Okay, thank you, Joyce. Let me check. What else did I sell? Ribbons. Oh, the ribbons was three. So this one's number four? Uh, the, the Disney, yes. Okay. Okay, Joyce is good. You can wrench her. Oh, thank you, Joyce. Welcome to the family. No, thank you, Pam Henry. I really appreciate you. Pam Henry for 75 Yes. All right, we're at 50 with Joyce. Well, um, how much was June Bugs ribbon? 37. Thank you. Okay, so now we're on lot number five. Well, I put that down as number five because this is number four, but we can reverse them either way. Oh, Deborah says, Donna, you just boxed up lots and sold them for $100. Ah, okay. That's why I'm not finding it. It's a mystery lot of crafts for $100. I can do that. Let's put that down for number five, okay? So that way I can write it down. $100 to Deborah Reed. And it looks crafts. Crafts. Well, and I'm almost at the end of crafts. <clears throat> almost, almost. And um, Sharon, you had asked me, thank you, Deborah. Thank you so much. Um, <clears throat> you had asked me uh, if I got the, uh, it was 20, it ended up being 28 bags of clothes that I bought from my Palm Beach lady, my organizer lady. And I ended up donating um, 
probably four bags and throwing, uh, oh, I don't know, about 11 bags out. It was a total bust. It was stuff that I wouldn't even donate to a store. Like it wasn't even nice enough to donate to like Goodwill or even give to a homeless shelter. It was a total waste of money, but I don't complain. You know, I, I take the good with the bad and the ugly. Um, she didn't do this, you know, this closet clean out. Um, she had people do it for her. So she didn't really know what was in the bags, which is okay. I mean, you know, I don't complain. I mean, I, I, uh, you know, usually get really great stuff. So it's okay. So yeah, not good stuff. I salvaged very little, very, very little. Karen says, I love this. What does she love? The, all of the Disney stuff? Probably everything you do. Aw, thank you, Karen. Why is she writing jewelry lot? Uh, maybe she wants to buy one or? Um, Kimberly! Hi, honey. Hello, Kimberly. Borderline hoarder issue, guys, is Kimberly. Okay, this is a Mickey lot. And it is going to... Who's buying this? Heather MC for $55. Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you, Heather. Okay, Mama Bear, are you ready? Okay, maybe she's not. So let me, I'm going to leave that on the table and I'm going to put myself on and I'm going to show you what I have and I'm going to go get the case and I want to sell the whole kit and caboodle like I did the other night. These are called chase and play balls. Happy. Your pets will chase the ball, play and perform tricks. Includes one ball and this is what it is. Um, I'll hold the barcode up if you want to scan it. It's an easy list. It's another one of those things that I was going to list myself. And the whole lot is going to be these balls? I don't know. Let me go get it. Hold on. I just went and got it. This is what I have. I want to put it all in one box and ship it out. We'll look at it together. Okay, this is what I have. Let's count and see what we have in here because I don't even know. All right, so there's one. Oh, there's some Zuzu pets in here. Two. Three. Four. Five. I'm trying to see if it says the year 2014. Five, six, seven, eight, are any of them open? Um, Oh, this one might be. I think that's a llama, Pam. Is that the llama behind you, the purple one? Yeah. That giggles? The one with the long neck. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those. It probably needs batteries. That's what's in here. This one's been opened, though. The rest of them are sealed. It looks like it's supposed to have like a stuffed animal on it. So this one's missing. Want me to open one of the ones that um, are, are sealed to see what's uh, in it? So I doubt that the dog is supposed to be in there. It says... <laughs> it's an accessory. Chase and play. Your pets will chase the ball. Play and perform. Pet not included. Yeah. 
includes one ball. It probably moves around in zigzags and all kinds of things. Oh, cute. Yeah, they're all sealed. They all have um, seals on them. Okay, let me count how many I have. So I have... Not, they're, they're made for these uh, furry animals, right? Not real animals. I don't know. I have no idea, you guys. Hey, Sylvia. Good night, everyone from rainy Germany, but loving to be away from home and getting some rest. Yay, Sylvia. Enjoy, honey. I don't know, you guys. You can look them up if you want. Chase and play ball. And I'll give you a quick count to how many I have. Um, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and I'll include these two. It's this one. Bluebird buggy. Those balls are made by Zuzu, though. So they are definitely for Zuzu, right? They have Zuzu name on them. Yeah, they, they are. Yeah, right there. Do you remember how many I counted? Uh, a few. 14? 14 plus this one that's open is 15 and then two of these. 15, 16, 17. You get 17 pieces all together in this lot. And I see Susie with the $30 bid. Susie, it's going to cost me kind of close to that to ship it. So. No, well, that's what no. I started it at. You started it at 30? Yep. Okay, that's fine. That's fine because it's going, this is how big the box is going to be that it's going out in. So it's going to be in a big, huge box. But this is one of those great items that you just scan and list. So I think there's 14 of these and two of these. And they're dusty, so you're going to have to wipe them off. Ruth, are you saying they include a plush toy or are you asking if they include a plush toy? Because I don't think they include the plush toy, just the balls. Do you want me to open a sealed one? No, no toy, Cam says. Yeah, it just says on it includes one ball. Yeah, that's it, just the ball. Your pets will chase the ball, play, and perform. But it's for real pets, right? No, I think it's for the Zuzu pets. Because they got some sort of programming in them to chase the ball. And it tells them to roll over and all that kind of stuff. Mm. I don't know anything about it. You were the big Zuzu pet seller. Yeah, but I didn't sell all these. These things came out well after I got out of Zuzus. When I got into Zuzu, it was just the the hamsters and a few little toys. That was it. My kids were like, my we were when I pulled these out. The kids were like, "Oh my god, remember Zuzu pets?" And Bo was like, "I hated those things." And Chesley's like, "They were so cute, but I hated them too." She said, "Remember they used to get caught in our hair, <laughs> and they wouldn't stop. They kept going and going." Uh, foam, I assume plastic. Yeah, they're plastic. The one I, yeah. yeah, the one I opened was uh, plastic. The ad says comes in a variety of, of plush toy designs, and they are made for your pet to chase. I don't know, because that dog is not a Zuzu pet. So maybe they are made for animals. Does that look like a real animal? No, but... 
I thought Zuzu pets were all hamsters. Uh, I don't know. I think they started making other. And that says it's like a happy, so maybe a, you know, a different brand got in on the Zuzu thing. Well, it says Zuzu right there. I know. Well, is that, are you sure that says Zuzu? Looks like ZMI. Oh, I don't know. Is that ZHU? World of ZHU. Okay, good, good. That's Zoo, right? Yeah, that's Zoo. That's Zoo. Oh, Peggy says they make dogs. <clears throat> I get it. Meet the Happies. Look, the Happies are Bentley, Chance, Thunder, Lady, Jewel, Mittens, Scooter, and Sport. It's not a llama. That's a llama. Pam, you want to stay in at 70 or you want to go out? Melanie's out, thank you. Yeah, not for real dogs. Are you going to do anything? Susie, you can't be out. You're the high bid at 65. Hi, Jade. Okay, they're interactive with a bunch of... They're interactive with a bunch of plush toys. <laughs> Susie, are, are you saying you want to retract your 65? You can retract, Susie. That is not scary, Elizabeth. That's cute. Okay, well... We had Pam at 60, and then before that, Melanie at 40. If they want to retract because they were made for, uh, they're made, they thought they were made for dogs, it's fine. I understand. It's an easy list. Maybe I'll just have the girls list them. Because this is like good to build up, you know, um, positive feedback. Let me know, guys. If not, we'll just pull them. If nobody's interested. All right. Susie's out. Pam, do you want to, you had a 60 bid, but if you take Susie's out, we were back to Melanie at 40. So we could do Pam at 45. If you're interested, Pam, you'll take them for 45. All right. Are we all done and done? Nobody else interested. We'll give them to Pam. All right, let's call it down. Have I looked at what, Elizabeth? She says, have you looked at it? Because you have to take Susie out of the equation altogether, Saxton. So if we take Susie's bid out of... The 50 also you're all the way back down to 40 so 45 would be the next bid got the hiccups okay pam 
Okay, oh, we're sold. Yep. We're sold, sold, sold. Oh, I don't know what he just said. <laughs> Didn't sound good. Mm. Did it ever, did it ever go all the way up like the other ones do? Because I remember they got like two feet tall, right? Yeah, they get like two feet tall. This one probably it probably needs batteries. Yeah. It not be um strong enough. Needs some new batteries. Well, you know, uh Bo's there now. She could uh, replace those batteries for you. Bo? Yeah. That's Chessie's job. Uh, T, are you ready? Yes, ma'am. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go disappear for a little while. Hopefully it doesn't do anything funny on the screen. Thank you, Pam. Thank you so much. All right. These are nine autographed minor league helmets. You said minor league? Yeah, just minors, right? Yes, just minors. That's the name of them. They're all signed. They all come with just the proof, just memorabilia. With the name of the player. Usual start. Yes, sir. Yeah, there. <laughs> I know, right? Shut that thing off, Jenny. <laughs> Josh Phelps. Yeah, maybe I'll leave these out so in case anybody asks me who's who. <laughs> On Burroughs? Yeah. Corey Patterson. Sean Burroughs again. I guess it's for two minor league teams he played. The Rancho Camucha Quakes and the Fort Wayne Wizards. A little bit higher. There you go. Dennis Tank Tankersley. Tankersley. Yeah. Nick Johnson. Nick Johnson. I wonder if it's Nick Johnson of the Yankees. Hmm. <laughs> we'll have to see what year these were. Does it does it have a date inside? Um, that's a good question. Gabe Kapler. Gabe Kapler. Uh, this one says November 20th, 1999. Let me see if they're all different. Uh, 1999. November 28th, 21, May 4th, 2002. All right, the last one, let's just look at that one first. Who is Joe Kennedy? June 20th, 2001. Yeah, Blue said he played for the Yanks. Yeah, it's, if it's the same one, because that could be a common name, I guess. Uh, December 11th, 1999. December 17th, 1999. December 11th, 1999. September 20th, 2002. August 25th, 2001. I know Gagney yeah. played for somebody. I don't know who it was. Okay. Kapler is the head coach now. Plays for the Red Sox. See, Anthony, that's why we have you here. <laughs> awesome. Did uh, Bluegrass, did Gagne play for the Royals? Is that what it's I'm thinking Gagne? of? Yeah, I wonder if it's the same Gagne. Dodgers. I 
All right, we have Harley at 40. Anybody else interested? All right, any other interest? If not, we're going to say let's sell to Harley Handler. Nine helmets. Well, if he's a relief pitcher, he moved around some then. <laughs> Pam's in for 42. Thank you, Pam. Is somebody sneezing? Uh, yeah, in the other room. God bless you. <laughs> Harley's in for 46. God bless you. Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Mobile Bay Bears. What a name. Yeah, right. Some of the names are a little crazy. <laughs> yeah, they're interesting. There's the mud hens. Always hear about them. Charlie at 55 and Pam back at 60. Thank you, guys. And as always in my sports lots, I will pad, pad the box. May not be anything tremendous. It might just be some cards because uh, these are going to take up a little bit of room. But <laughs> you know me. Pam, honey, we have Harley in at 65 if you want to go 70. All right, Harley's going to be out. We're going to sell him to Pam. Hey, Mimi. What's up, Denise? I'm not there. I'm with the camera again. I'm sorry. I'll get it. I'll get it all working right at some point. I'm sorry. <laughs> at some point, I won't make everybody see sick. <laughs> My God. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. All right, I'm going to do this one off. It's a 2006 Marlboro Coleman tent, 7x7 seven seven pop up. I'm not taking it out of the box. I'll never get it back in. It's never been used, it's never been taken out. I had to open it to see what it was for sure. So everything's in there. Other than the box being open, it is brand new. It sounds like there's a bunch of ducks now outside. We had so much rain. Hey, Michelle O. Hey, Heartland Picker. Um, we had so much rain today. They're probably like swimming in my... Um, parking lot here it's still pouring 
Uh, it finally stopped. Yeah, this is the most rain that I've seen since we've been here. It's crazy. Just nonstop. Carly was starting at 20, at 30, huh? Now that says Marl Kant. Is what's it's Mar mean? it's 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 Marlboro. It's Okay, um, that's what I was wondering if it was Marlboro. Yeah, no, it's Marlboro. It's let me see if I can I think my Okay, Lego is, man, you need to fill out a new form, please, if you changed your name. Who is this? Lego man, Heartland Picker. Oh yeah, yeah. Please. Yeah. Coleman Sundome seven by seven. And Mary wants to see the bottom of the box. The bottom, okay. Not a lot to see at the bottom, but okay. Uh, or <laughs> any side actually other than the one. Uh, yes, the pole should be in there. Yeah, the, the, it's never come out of the box. Trust me, if it came out of this box, nobody got it back in. I assure <laughs> you. It was sealed. Anyway, my husband opened it. It was completely sealed. We just wanted to make sure. It, it Believe me, it's never been out of this box. And it should have its own bag and everything. Yep, so. the bag, it's there. The, the red bag is right there. This box was sealed. We opened it. Hey, Osma. Hey, KJ. Hey, Mary. I'm actually going to show something next. It's going to be Halloween. Yep, I have it. it it's a large piece too. It's uh, it's a Department Fifty Six. I'm going to have to start it at thirty five because the shipping is probably going to be a little cr crazy on it. Awesome, Osma. Glad to hear it, honey. All right, we're going to sell the Coleman 10. It looks like the Harley. All right, congratulations. Congrats, congrats. All right. Hi, Kimberly. It is Department 56, Village Accessories, Haunted Coal Car, Halloween. $35 ship to start because the size of the box is tremendous. Yeah, 31 inches long, which means I got to put it in like more like 35. Oh, you're welcome, Harley. Awesome. Peggy, I sold a lot the other day, but I do have some more left. I don't know if I can get to it tonight, but I will be bringing it short, you know, within the next few weeks for sure. Um, I'm going to open this, guys, so you guys can see it. Let's open it. Oh, Harley, Harley gets to go to Sturgis this year.
Oh, there goes my camera. <laughs> Sorry. We'll get it straightened out in a second. Now that you guys can see my mess in the other room that I made. Okay. The plug. Now, it looks like that coal car should go up and down the tracks. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. This fits into something. You see any damage? Do you see any damages anywhere at all? I don't. That's what I'm yeah. really looking for. I see no chips or cracks or anything like that. Oh, this goes on the top of here, I guess. This, this fits up here. And I guess somehow the bats fit on here. Think, unless they just go on the coal car. I don't know. They were hanging on here, but I don't know that they definitely stay on here, to be honest with you. They might just go on the coal car. You have to read the directions. And the directions are in here as well as a pamphlet looks like you can register it still leave that in there I'm packing still. I'll pack it better than this, though, for sure. <sighs> Joyce comes in at 75. Thank you, Osma. And this is Joyce's first win, I believe. So be oh. sure to wait for an invoice. Unless you want her to pay right away, like we do with some first timers. Yeah, she could, she could, if you want to drop it, she wants to uh, send me right to my PayPal, that would be fine. All right. Thank you, Joyce. If she needs an invoice, I can send one when Donna shows. And that's the T's auctions for you at Gmail? Correct. Thank you, Joyce. Congratulations on your first win. Woohoo! So, Joyce, if you could send T a uh, PayPal for 75 Shipping is free, of course. And that's her PayPal address right there. Okay. 
All right, you know, no, it isn't a tea auction unless we do cards. Whole box of assorted. The entire lot will be cards. The entire lot is going to be cards. All baseball. All. I think that's baseball. Yeah. Hey, bye, Christine. Thank you, Joyce. All right, Christine. All right, so you got a sealed 1987 Fleer baseball logo and stickers, 22 logo stickers and 120, oh, I'm sorry, 132 trading cards. This is sealed. A little bit of sunwear, it looks like, a little fading on that box. Then you've got this 1988 660 player cards collector set with 56 magic motion trivia cards. This box is not sealed. However, I have no reason to believe that all the cards are not here. Looks like some minis down there on the left side too. Yeah, they're, um, th th these are supposed to be holographic or magic motion cards. Hmm. I don't know if I can, no, I'm not going to. No, I don't yeah, really don't, want to disturb don't hurt them. Anything. Yeah, I don't want to disturb them. So that's that. This is again 88. This box is just a box of some assorted cards. Um, I don't know. There'll be a couple of my I have a bunch of McGuire cards. I'm gonna throw a bunch of McGuire McGuire cards in here. So you got one, two, three, four, five McGuire in plastic, hard plastic sleeves. And then this is just, I think there is a complete set of something. I'm not 100% sure. And then just some um, miscellaneous different years of cards. This particular one in the beginning, uh, let's see. This was... 93 tops on that. And we'll put all those in there. And then again, just a lot of it's just going to have to be hunt, hunt for the cards. <laughs> I've had it with this camera now. <laughs> I think you're going to have to build something to keep that in place. I, I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to either that or it's just going to go back to old style until I can figure it out because. It's really becoming very frustrating at this point. I mean, this is a good setup, you know. I know. It's just my camera does not attach. It doesn't have an attachment for the tripod. So that's what's making oh, it so okay. frustrating. So it's not on a tripod. It's it's on a tripod that's not but it's not connected to it's just laying on the tripod. I see. Is this sealed set of nineteen ninety-four, series one and two? And then this is just another box of just random years of cards and just players. And honestly, I'm not sure what years or who they are. Just duct tape or Gorilla Glue. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> this score. There's Bowman, there's Fleer, there's Tops. They're all just different random cards in there and different years. So I don't know. This box holds about 400. This other box holds 800. But there's, I'm probably pushing more like nine in that box just because I stuffed it. Um, you got 792 in that box, 660 in that box, 132 in that box. So if you do the math, you got got well over 2,000 cards, almost 3,000. Plus, you know, T. Plus, you know, T. She likes to add and give bonuses. That's a lot of cards for $35. It is. 
crank with the duct tape. All right, Pam, would you like to advance past 35? She needs a hammer. Well, we might lose a camera if she had a hammer. A hammer? What do we need a hammer for? <laughs> Absolutely, Joyce. T-E-E-A-U-C-T-I-O-N-S, -E -E the number four, the letter U, at gmail.com. I'll type it again in the chat. Oh, uh, Joyce, don't copy and paste that. Just you have to type it in yourself. If that's what you were doing, the bolding don't work a lot of times. We're all good, Donna. No worries. So far, so good. Why is she typing in the chat? She's probably in the car on her phone. <laughs> oh, okay. She left. Okay. Waiting on a pizza, right. <laughs> All right, we're going to sell it to Pam for 65. Nice deal, Pam. All right. This is the size of the box. This is what's in here right now. This is all kids' plates, cups, food, teapots all different things i'll dump it out here i will fill this box up completely i am not cleaning anything though so just a fair warning dirt and dust is truly always free here at the auction all right and i will fill the box up with this type of stuff so you got a whole set in here of girls trying to nineteen eighty five. I guess I don't know. Is that supposed to be Zelda? I don't know who that's supposed to be. Oh yeah. All right. Um the picture, although the pictures, the pictures picture is a little worn. <laughs> this one, no, well, that'll be a gift. But Prince, Princess of Power, Princess. Princess of Power, plates. There's forks and knives. Here's four more cups. These cups seem to be in the best shape out of all of it. But I guess for 1985 makes it 36 years old. Mm. 
make sure it's just dirt and not mold. It is. It's just dirt. That's all it is. It is. I checked through all of it. I don't know. I, for some reason, there's a piece of Tupperware in here, but whatever. I told you guys I didn't have any more Tupperware. Well, I guess I do. <laughs> that, that's what I was thinking. Ruth was uh, She-Ra from He-Man. Oh, She-Ra from the He-Man. I guess that's possible, right? So there'll be like these little uh, this and Again, it just has to be cleaned. Little tykes. Here's the teapot. More plates. Hamburger meat. Buns. French fries. Lettuce. More pots. More plates. Plates. more cups this one is chilton globe manitowoc wisconsin on the bottom of that more plates 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 more food you got pizzas you got pizza pies bunch of pizza pies, some fries. You know, you got to probably put a lot of this stuff through the dishwasher. And I, again, will add to fill the box. Was that she raw tea set complete? And how many were, how many plates were there? The one plate was broken, so no, it's not complete because okay. yep. that was the broken plate. I'll throw it in if you want it. If not, I'm throwing it in the garbage. So it was a four-piece or four-place setting, right? You had four cups. Yeah. Well, then, see that pl that plate says Power Princess. These cups, these cups are a little bit different. Then that's not Power Princess. That's probably the She-Ra that you're talking about. So the plates are the, the power princess plates. So power princess, and then again, power princess on these, the one is broken. So there's three small ones, four large ones, and then the She-Ra, four cups, and the very worn off low you know pitcher if you want it i'll put it in if not i'm throwing it in the garbage i uh, throw it in there let them decide yeah you guys can decide you know food and then these cups are made from made by the same manufacturer as those she rock cups and there's a bunch of Pans and pots, and again, veggies, meats, uh, plates. This whole, what looks to be possibly a whole set, I don't know. Um, a juicer. And again, forks, spoons, bowls. Uh, I don't know. There's a bunch of, there's a few little Tupperwares in here too. I'll just leave them in here. Bread and hamburger buns, more fries. Mustard cups. I think that's a Tupperware piece too. I don't know. I don't know why they put Tupperware in here too, but it's in here. This is Fisher Price. Oh, this is Tupperware. I recognize that.
All right. Are we good? We done and done? Yep. All down. All right. Congratulations, Daniel, your first win. Congratulations, Daniel. Thank you. She will, Daniel. She'll put lots of pictures in there. What did he want? He said, fill that box up. <laughs> I will. Don't worry. Trust me. You've got plenty to put in there. <laughs> You'll make money for sure. All right. Uh, thank you, Joyce. Thank you, Joyce. Uh, yeah, PayPal can be a little uh, frustrating at times. Yes, for sure. Temperamental, to say the least. All right, let's do this other one-off piece that I have. It's um, it's an express. It's an express. It's it's a Christmas. Well, yeah, it is an express. It's a Christmas Village Express. Oh, really? Number 941, complete electric train set. Do you want Daniel to pay? Yes, please. It's his first win. Yes. All right, Daniel, go to PayPal and use this uh, email address. All right, so it's a limited edition, 1500 of number 4, 1468. I'm going to move the camera so I can kind of span on it for you guys. Uh, everything's included, Daniel. So you yes. just pay the $30. And then there's a whole instructions for setting it up. I guess if you need additional stuff, suggested track layouts. Uh, thank you, Lisa. Pat's in for 30. I have a feeling this is going to be popular. June's at 32. Can you guys read that or is there too much of a glare? Yeah, too much glare. Too much glare. Okay. And I am going to, of course, include the original box that the box came in, and I will still put it in another box. So it will be boxed in a box in a third box. So nice and nice and packed. Sorry about the glare. All right.
right, we have Joyce at 45 and Pam at 50. $5 increments now, please. June bug at 55. Thank you, Bugs. So that looked brand new, right? There it had never been out of the box? Never been out of the box, no. No. There's a little bit of what I see, a little bit on the edge of this one corner, if you can see it. No, you can't because it's not in the camera view. See it there? Oh, yeah, just a little box where. Yeah. Patrick's going to go for 75. Thank you, Pat. My Patrick loves his Christmas. Why didn't you show this a week and a half ago? I, you know what, to be honest with you, as I keep moving things around and getting through boxes, you don't understand. You just don't understand. <laughs> I just dumped out four boxes of toys on the center of my floor <laughs> here of stuff I haven't even gone through and I have that much more still to go through. I'm still going through boxes that from the collector I didn't even sort through. Oh, I understand. So my husband's going to have a fit in the morning when he walks in if I don't pick those toys up, but I don't know if I'm going to have time. <laughs> right. All right, Joyce, let us know if you want to go 80 or go out. Thank you, guys. Do you hear the ducks quacking? Nope. Oh, my God, it's so funny. They're loving the water out there, I think. I do do hear that bear scratching on the back wall, though. Oh, shut up. Shh. <laughs> Shriker. Don't scare me like that. I already have hear so many noises when I walk outside at night here. Uh, well, it's almost 8, right? So is it dark yet or getting close? No, not yet. No, I, I think tonight they said um, 8.15 was sunset. But... It rained all day and it's still very cloudy, so it's still not light bright, you know. <laughs> the clouds are very thick and dark, so I mean it's it's okay. It's dusk. It's what I would call dusk. All right, thank you, Joyce. Thank you, Joyce. Sorry, issues out. Okay, no worries, honey. All right, we're gonna sell it to Pat. Thank you, Patrick. And of course, everyone gets a bonus. Patrick knows his bonus he's getting with his delivery. <laughs> oh, he's going to love that one. Yep. <laughs> all right well i have to clean these toys up i just have to so we're going to just first clear my room out this is the fisher price dump truckers station with the gas pumps Always bonuses, Daniel. You'll have something with yours, too. Don't worry. I promise. I bonus everybody out. Always. This jack-in-the-box is a little bit... Um, it works, but it definitely needs... It's seen its better days. Um, you've got a little bit roughness here, and then in the back, you've got some tearing here. Just want you guys to be aware... Are, are we doing all uh, Fisher Price? Uh, it's not all going to be Fisher Price. Let me see if I can give you a year on this. It also has Laura's name on here. So if Laura doesn't buy it, 
I do not see I do not see a name on this one. I mean a year on that one. No, I am not doing all fish for price. I'm just cleaning up. I'm, this one is play school pounding bench without a hammer because I can't find it. <laughs> so, I remember that really well. All right. This is one of these uh, Christmas tree play. I forget what they call these. There is a name for these. Somebody, somebody will type it in the chat and let me know. Look at the mini vacuum, Fisher Price. Could you imagine buying one of those now? <laughs> those little plunging things. Oh my gosh, with those sharp edges all around it. Right. <laughs> I used them. Oh, you did, Peggy? Really? Wow. Ah, uh, Peggy worked for Milton Bradley. All right. I'm not sure. Let's see who makes this. I'm not sure. Louis Gollub Toys, 1991. It's another little uh, car speed thing. I don't know. Tupper Toys? Is that Tupperware? I don't know. It says Tupper Toys. I don't know if there's supposed to be any more parts. Can you show that a little better? We can't see it on the screen. Oh, you can't? I'm sorry. Tupper Toys. Huh. Amy, did I not send you your $50 mystery toy box? Oh, honey, let me write that down. Why didn't I think I, why didn't I, think I sent you it was already? Hmm. I'll have to look into that. I thought for sure everybody's mystery toy boxes were out. Let me make a note. Thank you, Pat. Oh my God, he sounds like he's being tortured. Who? Oh, the the Jack in the Box. I don't or think the... he sounded that bad. Or the duck outside. <laughs> and he is supposed to be scary, so. Uh, Amy. Amy. I gotta look, Amy. That's. Uh, um... Thank you, Ruth. Tupperware. Okay. I, I, I almost think this should be some other pieces to that, but maybe you can part it out. Yeah, it seems like there's a whole side missing or something. Yeah, I gotta look, see in this pile that's on my floor. If it's here somewhere. Yeah, Amy, well, that's what we've been talking about. She thought she had sent you one, but she's going to research it for you. Who, Amy? Yeah. Amy, I'm going to look. I... Amy bought $50 mystery box from me. Yeah, but if she said she bought me, then, then free, yes. 
I, I got you, Amy. Did she not hear me respond? Uh, she I no, I guess she may be lagging. Or, I don't know. All right, honey. I'm going to research it because I could swear if if you paid, I shipped. I don't hold on to stuff. I try to bill and ship immediately. But there's always a possibility. Team made a boo boo. So I will check. All right, anybody interested in this lot for $30? All right, thank you, Stitch. Thank you, Stitch. I'm going to throw some other stuff in here, too. I'm just trying to make some room. Well, that dump trucker's piece looks like a nifty little thing. I never heard of that one before. going to step my camera back for a minute just so I can box it. It'll just be easier. And Pam, we'll see what I can get into this box for you. Oh, I'll definitely be able to do some other stuff in here. Definitely. Little small, smaller stuff, but definitely could get some stuff in there. All right, well, we have a second. Why doesn't everyone uh, refresh the page real quick and go back to live chat? That way everybody's up to date. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Pam. All right. Camera back. All right, we're going to do some sports books, guys. That is the Want to Make a Milrose Games. Here's another one, 70th. This one is the 61st. One is the 70th. Let's pull this back a little bit so you guys can see. Want to Make a Mil Milrose Games. Here's a Ma Madison Square Garden boxing tonight. Nyack Indoor Games. 100th anniversary of the Indoor Games New York Athletic Club. Here is um, 
Here's a signed picture of Tracy Austin. I'm going to step away for about a minute, T. No problem. Go ahead, honey. I'm going to show a bunch of stuff. There's going to be a bunch of ephemera in here as far as newspaper clippings and um, sports, just miscellaneous sports ephemera. Here's the 1984 Olympic Games. Oh, look, it's a Chicago Cubs hat. Here's one of these Super Squad comic books. Here is the New York Mets Diamond Club 1969 Old Timer Souvenir Menu. I think it is. That's what it is. Oh, it's a little torn here, just FYI. But we'll throw it in. It's from 1969. How about the Mets official program and scorecard from 1969. Here's a sports stars. See who this is. What year, rather? Sorry. Uh, August 1950 on that one. Diamond Club Shea Stadium luncheon menu. Great moments happen on CBS Sports. I don't know. That'll go in the ephemeral lot. Here's a Yankees book. Oh, gee, I didn't think I had any of these left. I have a uh, hardcover Ichiro book. And then a stack of these, what looks to be Met postcards. And this says Team Don Ross Newsletter on it. And this looks like a wrapped um, poster of Thurman Munson. We'll throw that in there. And as always, room in the box, you guys know. I put baseballs and bats and cards and whatever other goodies I have laying around. I don't know. This is some kind of pin I just found. Baseball pin. I'll throw it in there. Uh, 
not really sure. Here's another one, 2005. Hi, KK on Facebook. Hey, KK. We'll put a couple of sheets for sure in these so you guys have them. Oh, Cindy, it's raining everywhere, sweetheart. I hope you enjoyed your dinner because it's been pouring everywhere. <laughs> I think everywhere on the East Coast, anyway. <laughs> All right. Pam's out. We're going to sell it to stitch it. Yeah. Are you done adding? I mean, I'm going to fill the box. They okay. know. I mean, they're going to get bonuses. There'll be other stuff in here. There'll be some more cards. There'll be maybe some balls, some bats. My usual. Why well, didn't want to stop it while you were still throwing stuff on the pile? Thank you, Joyce. I got Joyce's funds. Thank you. How about Daniel? I'm looking now. All right, Pam's at 55. Does Stitch want to come in for 60? Stitches out. Daniel said it's going too soon, I promise. So he hasn't done it yet. Okay. Okay, we're going to call it down. Pam for 55. <laughs> Kathy found her way in. <laughs> Hi, KK. All right, and we're selling this to Pam for 55. Thank you, Pam.
Yeah, have some good stuff in there. Oh yeah, always. Good evening, Nicole. Thanks again, Pam. Thank you, Stitches, for bidding. I appreciate you guys so much. All right, let's see what I have. I haven't really looked at this stuff. Let me see what this is. Okay, this is going to be a little bit of this and that. Um, because you guys asked at the more department 56, I don't think some of this is this is it's Thomas Kincaid. So, this piece here is yeah, it's a Thomas Kincaid devoted camel, the elegant blessings, and it's sig sculpture number A4787. 2009 is the year on that one. This is Department 56. It's part of the North Pole series. And this one says it's Dash's Espresso Bar. And I'm not going to take it out because it is new in package. So it is in there. And that's what it is. The box is a little bit torn here, just so you guys see that there. It's not perfect. Okay, so that's that. Let me pull the camera up a little bit or adjust it a little bit so you guys can see. Back. All right. Can you guys see that? All right. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, it's good. Okay. All right. This piece says it's uh, Hawthorne Village. You know what? This guy's taking up a little too much area here. Let's see if we can get him. This. Again, it seems like all of these have numbers and COAs. This is Kerala train station. And this one is Care Bears. Hawthorne Village is this one. And again, that has a COA. I don't want to take a chance doing that, so let's see if we can do that. Okay. A0183, Kerala train station from a Kerala Christmas village collection. And there's your Hawthorne village there. Kerala Christmas village. And then I have one more piece. This one also was Hawthorne Village. Oh, and it's sealed. Darn it. Darn it, darn it. But I got to open it. I hate to do it. I honestly hate to do it. I hate, but there's no box. 
So all it is, it's in styrofoam. So you have to open it. See if I can. Oh do yeah, it. you got to open that. You never know what's in there. I mean, it, 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 it's written on, it says it's the Munster's Mockingbird Museum, but I'm not going to take somebody's word for it without it like, That's right. in the box. If the box was here, I would maybe not open it. But Yeah, but it could be broken or anything. Right, anything can happen. So let's, I'll do it as carefully as, as possible. See, I would use a knife, but that's me. No, 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 because I'm going to see if I can put it back. Are you kidding? Hey, you guys, I'm back, but um, just, I just need another minute. We're on the phone with the coach. Okay. Well, the person that gets is going to have to open it anyway to photograph right. it. Right, you have to take pictures if they're going to resell it, or if, then, if, or if not, they're going to just use it. So. Exactly. <laughs> Am I frustrating everybody now? <laughs> we probably just should have done the nice thing, huh? At this point. Because I'm still not completely open. <laughs> Here we go. All right. Well, it definitely is monsters because I see Grandpa. I see Grandpa. Uh -huh. The monsters. And this one is A zero zero five one. All right, and then your plug-in, and I guess it's only Grandpa. I only see Grandpa. He's the only one hanging out at the mausoleum. Yeah, I only see him. That's it. Your cord. <laughs> Yeah, we got Halloween and uh, Christmas. Yeah, a little Halloween and a little Christmas. Hey there, Josh. Hey, Josh. And there is what looks to be underneath here a certificate of authenticity as well. So you get the monsters, you get the Care Bears Christmas, you get the Thomas Kincaid Camel, and you get the Department 56 Dashers Kickstart Espresso Bar. Four pieces. All right, we've got Saxton at 70. We need to hear from Mary and uh, Daniel and Cindy. Daniel at 75. Saxton's back at 80. Did Donna say she brought pizza for everyone? I don't know. I'm hungry. 
<laughs> Me too. All right. Mary's at 85. Kathy and, C and Pam are out. Rummage at 90. All right, Mary Saxton beat Ian by a few seconds there. So we're with Saxton at 90. Mary's at 95. Thank you, Mary Pisano. Thank you, Mary Ramsey. Thank you, Saxton. Appreciate it. And Saxton at 100. Mary? Anyone else? All right. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. All right. Salt in this rummage. Are you ready, Miss Donna? No, she's probably still on the phone with the coach. Okay. Yeah. Still busy. Can you apply the 40 I won from you? Oh, of did course. the Saxon win a contest? Yes. Yes, she has She has a gift certificate. Yes, of course, Saxton. Of course, of course. See, I'm gonna actually. Oh no, maybe I can show this. All right, maybe I can show this. Let's see how easy it's gonna to be to show this. It's Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. Um, let me see if I back it up a little bit and I put the camera up. I might just have to hold the camera. I think that probably will be the best way. Um. It's not new. I mean, it does have some corner wear, but for the most part, it is still in great condition. But it is made to look old, also. Yes. Yes. So um, where are you gonna where are you gonna start this? Let's start it at ten dollars. Ten bucks. If you guys want a measurement, I'll give you a measurement. And this one I am going to roll. This one's rollable.
Looks like it's uh, got a name or a signature. They're right there at the bottom of breakers in the RE area. Is that right or just the way it's worn? Uh, where, right, right here? There. Yeah. No, it's just the way it's worn. I, I mean, I wouldn't be have been surprised because a lot of this stuff that I had was signed, but this particular one I don't see a signature on. No. All right, so it's 29 by 18. Twenty-nine by eighteen on that, and no interest for ten. Does it have any uh, date at the bottom or anything? No, it doesn't. There's no writing at all that I can see anywhere on this poster. So Nothing just a generic is... poster, then? Yeah, pretty much. Mary's in for ten. Anyone else? We're going to close it out. No other interest. All right, we'll call it to Mary. Okay, I'm back for real. Okay, all right. All right, and we're sold to Mary. Congratulations, Mary. Thank you. All right, you can go, baby. All right, I'm putting you on. Hey, sorry, you guys. Lots going on. Okay. Did you have fun? A blast. You missed it out. You missed it all. What did I miss? Oh, this and that. <laughs> yeah. Where'd T go? She's there. Oh. She took me out so I couldn't talk. Oh no, I didn't I I forgot <laughs> that um you were only on one camera. Um let me just grab this lot real quick. I'm going to do a clothing lot. T, what are you going to do? You're going to go home? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you're going to head home, T? I am. Okay. I am. I mean, it's going to take me a bit. I, got to up. I was telling everyone before I have to do a little bit of cleaning before I leave. Okay. All right, you do that. Thank you for your help, Shriker. You're going to log on when you get home? Uh, Donna, first I have to clean. So, uh, I mean, depending on how long you're going to stay on. Okay. I mean, I can hang out in the back until I leave because I'll probably still be here for a half an hour because that's what my floor looks like right now. Oh, my God. What is that? It's about four boxes of toys that I dumped on the floor. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Just leave it until tomorrow. I can't. My husband will have a heart attack if he comes in here. It's right at the front door. <laughs> I can't do it. But oh I'll hang God. it in the back. I'll be here in the back. I'll be here in the back. No worries. And when I leave, I'll, I'll say I'll, I'll let you know I'm leaving. Okay. All right. All right. Sounds good. Yep. Okay. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to do this. No, I'm going to do this. Okay, I'm going to do that. And I'm going to pile the clothes up on the table after I show them. And All right, I'm so do that because you don't need to see nothing. <laughs> 
Okay. So $30 start on this clothing lot, you guys. Um, okay. First one is adorable Christmas style. It's Loren. It's a size small and it's got the cute little poet front and you get the top and you get the bottom on these pajamas. Um, next is this Tommy Hill figure, size extra small, cute little cowboy style shirt. And next would be this one here, which is another Tommy and it's a size four on this cute little top. And this is almost velvet-like corduroy, and it's Jones, New York, button straight, and it is a size four. Black jeans. So the you guys that have bought these clothes from me know that these clothes are probably never worn. Um, a lot of them, there's just the tag was taken off of them. Here is a turtleneck. It's size small. And it's a turtleneck. You want to get these clothes up now for the winter. This next one is a nice cotton. It's Calvin Klein jeans. It's a small. It's um, It's got the little pocket with the Calvin Klein jeans on the side and that's the style of it. It's got the buttons on the side, kind of like a cowl neck. And this one is called Outback Red and it's a size small. And this is the name of the company. I don't know this company. I don't know if you guys want to look it up. Outback Red. This appears to be brand new as well. And it's a size small also. These are Easy Spirit, size three, four, high-waisted, high-waisted Easy Spirit. Um, they've got the cargo pockets on the side. Almost feels like uniform material, Easy Spirit. This one I love, it's so pretty. Who makes this one? Cabin Creek, size small. Look how pretty that is. Cabin Creek on that one. And here's another Cabin Creek. I don't know, I don't know this name, but this is how they were found, you guys. So long sleeved, really pretty. She did a nice job folding them to put them away in her mini storage. Whoops. Oh, I thought that table was falling. Scared me for a minute. These are Tommy Hilfiger, size two, and these are cotton. Um, they're rolled up and snapped, but they look like they could probably unroll and be long pants. Let's try. Yes, they're long pants, but you can roll them up and make them pedal pushers. They just need to be unbuttoned. Yep, and they're long pants. And they're brown. And they have the cargo pockets on the side as well. And this one is Chaps, size extra large. Really pretty. Pretty all over paisley print in the extra large size. And let me grab a couple of more pieces. Next we have these have a tag still on them. They're CABI size zero. And they are a kind of a, a brushed cotton 
with side side cargo pockets as well. And I think, were these new with tags? Yeah, these are new with tags. They're all new, just some of them don't have tags. Um, next is St. John's Bay. St. John's Bay, size four. And these are like to the knee, like pedal pusher ones. They're really cute. Those are adorable. And finally, we have this red sweater. And it's Loren Jeans Company. And it's a red cable knit sweater. Okay, so that's the lot. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 13, 14, 15 pieces with the pajamas. 15 pieces. Yes, she has a PayPal. T, um, t auctions for you at gmail.com. Hmm. I'm really bad with the email. That's her email, isn't it, Shriker? Yeah, that should do it. East Coast is at 50. And Pam wants the bigger sizes. I know, Pam. I get, a, I get a lot of these smaller sizes. This is another Cabin Creek, size small. We're going to add that to the pile. So that's 16. Um, here is a Bill Blass, size 6. Seventeen. Here is a Ralph Lauren, size four. Daniel, uh, T will just send you an invoice. Don't worry. 18. Here is a Emma James, size four. 19. And we're going to make it an even 20 with these Ralph Lauren. That's 20 pairs. 20, pieces total. 20 pieces. I want a bigger lot. Well, she just got one. There's 20 in this lot. Yeah, capital, capitalization doesn't matter on PayPal, Frank. No. Mm -mm. Okay, no. we've got East Coast 50. You want to come back in, Pam? Yeah. Uh, that was youngsters, am I right, Jess? Pam's at 55. Thank you, Pam. East Coast is at 60. East Coast has gotten lots of these clothes. She knows how beautiful they are. They're in excellent condition.
Yes, Pat, you're talking shop in our chat. I'll Pain add. Huh? Oh, adding more. Izod. Izod denim jacket. This will be a good seller. Denim jackets are always good sellers. That's 21 pieces. Yeah, denim's made quite a comeback, hasn't it? Yep. How about we add this one? This is pretty cool looking. This one is, it's Polo by Ralph Lauren. And look at how cool this is. Yeah, good logo. I'll add that one too. We're at 90. How about we add a, um, how about we add a $179 sweater? Double breasted, new with tags. It's black. It's absolutely beautiful. Very classic. And what's the size on that one? It's very heavy. It's a heavy sweater. Small. Hopefully this one piece will pay your whole lot. Pam is at a hundred. Thank you, Pam. Yep. Very well might. Ooh, East Coast comes in at 120. East Coast is like, gimme, gimme, gimme. I'm gonna keep going if you guys keep bidding. Here's a beautiful Tommy. I lost count now. Probably 23, 24. What are we at? Uh, I think 25. They're shorts, but they're not like regular shorts. They're like shorts that go to like the mid, mid leg. Brand new without tags. That's a nice one. Isn't that cute? You should have been doing those as one off there or the two together. So cute. That's a huge lot. We'll have to go out in two bundles. Oh, well, you might as well add a few more then. All right. Each coast at 150. More Mickey. Those are that three nice. More pictures. Mickey. Look at how cute this one is. Yeah, that one's awesome. That's awesome. Isn't that adorable, you guys? <laughs> it's so cute. It's so pretty. Ah, oh, there's Lisa. Sorry, Lisa. I have no idea on this one. Malajo. It's a Hawaiian shirt. Yeah, it's got good colors on it. It says Hawaii all over it. And you know, people, if even if you don't know the name or the brand isn't, you know, great, you know, look for those great designs like that. They will still sell. Yep. Especially if it says Hawaii. And small sizes, you guys, believe me, are just as hard to find as large sizes. This one is a Ford Petite. Again, brand new. These have never been worn. Excellent condition. 
I mean, these were probably $80 when she got them. They're beautiful. Nice olive green color. This one's large. And large. Oh, I like this one. Yep. This one will fit me. Everybody's on there. All the characters. And it's um it's embroidered. It's all embroidered on and it's a size large. This is a great shirt. <clears throat> East Coast. I've got to be at 30. Yeah, over 30 now. I've got yeah, it's got to be over 30. Want me to count them? 1 2 Three, four, five, six. That beautiful sweater. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This one's awesome. This is really, really like retro awesome. This is yeah, all in it's all embroidered, Shriker. That's nice, but I like the Disney's better. <laughs> it's all embroidered. Look at the work on that. It's beautiful. Yep. That's 10. The jean jacket, another great 11. Don't forget, you guys, I just sold this jean jacket for $75. Um, 11, 12, 13, 14. 15, 16 pajamas, count as one, 17, 18, 19. It's all women's, Lisa. 20, yeah, all women's. 20, 21, 29, 30, and 31. 31 pieces all together. 31. Yeah, that's women's. The one with the lacrosse is women's. Nice big lot for you guys. Imagine going into a thrift store and finding 31 pieces of brand new Never been worn, Tommy Hilfiger, Calvin Klein. I mean, it doesn't happen. Not even here where we have like phenomenal thrift stores. You don't see that. Do you like, see a lot more Disney down there? Um, not here, but when I go to Orlando, I see a lot of Disney. It's kind of scarce here. I like finding it. I sell it well. Yeah, Disney sells right away. Like, people love Disney. Disney anything. There's a lot of Disney collectors out there. Okay, we're at 2.30 with East Coast for this huge, huge lot. Pam, let us know. If not, we'll count it down to East. Who else was bidding? SoCal, Lisa. Oh, Pam comes in at 240. $250 to East Coast. East Coast and Pam know quality when they see it. I'm going to add these. These sell for themselves too. Calvin Klein jeans with the cargo pockets. Calvin Klein has a huge following. That's 32. Let's see what these are. Oops, the tag's been cut on these. These are a freebie. The tag's been cut. I don't know why. Here's another pair of Ralph Lauren. With the famous Donna rivets. Do not lean up against cars with those pants on. <laughs> That's 33. 
These are awesome. These are that brushed, that nice brushed cotton. This one's 34 with a nice lot wide pant leg just in time for boot season. That's 34. Here's 35, TKNY. Ooh, look at how pretty the tag is on this. That's 36. Here's 37. Woo, three Benjamins. Ding, 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 ding. Goals, 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 goals. That was four goals. Huh? You only got three goals. You said four goals. Sorry. What did I say? 39? That's 40? 30, no, those are 39. Shuttle notes, master cloth, no idea, but it's going to be expensive if it came from that woman. That's 40. All right, that's two big bundles going out. Just got a text from a family member that is a doctor. He said as soon as he got to the hospital to relieve the other doctor who was in intubating a COVID patient, he had to do one as well. All ICU beds are full. That's scary. All right, we've got East at 300. Thank you, Sharon. Thank you, Pam. You guys are great. Pam, 325, jumping up by $25. Whoop, whoop, whoop. 350. East Coast, Pam, thank you. <laughs> well, how about Lisa? She may want to come back in too. Lisa, where are you? Oh, Lisa, <laughs> where are you? You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. So I can't wait to share the news with you guys about what's going on, but we have to like make some phone calls tomorrow and make it official before I really um, announce it, but it's good. It's all good. It's not bad. At least right. 40. Right, Bo? What? I said, it's all good. Yeah, it's fine. It's all good. Um, I'm probably going to go home tonight. Okay. Well, I can't take you home until I'm done. When will you be done? Mm, a little while. Um, not that late. Not until like, I have like, a, my home You got to come early tomorrow morning. We have a lot to do. Okay. Oh, yeah. I can't do that. I can't do mm, to you, Pat. I can only do it to the ladies. <laughs> Bo knows. What do you think it's going to be, like 20 minutes? Yeah. What, were you going to ask Lola to come get you? No, it's not going to do that. You know Lola. All right. That's all right. We won't stay on for that much longer. You can't let <laughs> Kyle. Kyle Elliott's so funny. <laughs> Kyle. Geico did call me. <laughs> all right. We're giving it to Sharon for... I have so much on my mind I've already forgotten. For $350. Sold, sold, sold. 350. All right. Thank you so much, East Coast Thrifting. Can you take this bin of clothes and put them in the shipping room? Yeah. Please. Yeah, thank, you. Yeah. thank you so much, Sharon. That was lot number eight. All right, guys. All right. What about this guy? You guys want to, somebody want to buy him? 
Oh, somebody must have turned him off. We start him at 15. He definitely needs batteries. Chesie, you're not doing your job. Uh-oh. His... Oh. <laughs> He does a bunch of stuff, but his uh, he needs batteries. And his eyes turn different colors. I don't know if you can see that. You could probably see it from over there. Elizabeth, <laughs> she's like, what is that thing? Susie, how did I know you were going to bid on this? <laughs> I don't know what his name is. It's, it's a llama. And the head extends out. I did a, a video on one that I had, and the head extends out like three feet tall, would you say? Almost four feet. He goes up their ways. He goes really high up. But he's not he's not going he's not going up because I think he needs he, he's not doesn't have enough power on him. And you have to like to touch different parts of his body for him to, or her to respond. <laughs> Pam comes in at 17. Hatchimo. <laughs> right, Mary? Hatch, Hatchimals. Come on. Are you going to respond? Are you going to respond? Hmm? I think his wings. His wings also go up and down too, <coughs> but he needs batteries. <laughs> Pam, it's Hatchimals. It's Hatchimals. Llama corn. I'm going to give up. I'm just going to stop patting you because you're not responding. I don't remember what I touched to make it go up. Before it was doing the hiccups. <clears throat> He plays music too, I guess. To <laughs> Excuse me. He needs batteries. Oh, turned yellow. Now green. Now blue. I don't know what I was just touching to make him sing. Chaz, do you know what you're supposed to touch on this? No. Um, you guys, while I'm showing this, I still have some beanie babies left. I can do 50 plus. I count out 50 and then I take a handful and just throw in 50 plus beanie babies, $45 shipped. If anybody wants beanie babies. I have enough probably to do maybe three lots. I filled all my orders. <laughs> maybe I should set this up tonight instead of lava lamp. But somebody will have to sit there and, and tickle it the whole night. Otherwise, God, no. What? Oh, God, no. Why? No. <laughs> <laughs> Pam Henry is out. Susie's going to take it for $27. All right. I'm going to head out, guys. Okay, honey. Cindy, you, you want to go out or stay in? Heather MC's like, no, don't do that. All right, I'm going to turn him off, or her. I don't know if it's a boy or a girl. 
All right. Susie's yeah, T, uh, T. Daniel needs an invoice. Okay. So, um, oh, she left. She is in at 30. Oh, Andrea. Hi, Andrea. Sorry, Susie. Andrea snuck in. Andrea snuck in. Susie's at 32. Susie, didn't you get one of these? I can't remember. You've had quite a few of them. I've had, yeah. I still have, I think, one or two left in the back room. I don't think I have purple, though. She said no, but others. Susie's out. Andrea's going to get it for 34. Andrea, I have your um, things here that I've been waiting to ship out so I can ship it out together. All right. That goes there. Andrea gets it for 34. And I know you have a gift certificate, Andrea. Shriker, do you want to show something? No. Nope. Why? I'm hungry. You're hungry? Mary, you got a purple one too, honey? All right, I'm going to bring you on. I got to drive my kids. Um, my kids want to get going. So um, I had a lot more planned for tonight, but Shriker's hungry. I didn't expect to be gone as long as I was, but I was on the phone with the... Uh, yeah, Pat, can you send me some? Pizza. <laughs> Um, why is, why is Susie saying so glad you got him for me to Andrea? So glad you got it for him. Oh, you oh, so glad you got him. Come back on leather later. Heather says leather, Heather. I can't even talk. Heather leather. I don't know if I can Heather. We're going to have a busy day tomorrow. I was up until two o'clock in the morning last night shipping and I got to get a good night's sleep for his grandson. Awesome. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. I do have some postcards that I do want to show, but what time is it? It's nine o'clock. It's still kind of early. I don't know. Maybe, maybe we'll take an intermission. You guys, be sure that you're subscribed. No promises, but maybe we'll be back on for a little late night. We'll see. I don't know. I might come home and be like, ah, no, I'm going to bed. <laughs> um, I don't know what tomorrow's plan is. Tomorrow is Wednesday, right? T usually likes to take Wednesdays off. Hmm. If I don't come back on tonight, we'll come back on tomorrow morning. No, I can't. I can't tomorrow morning. I have a lot of paperwork I have to do with Bo. It's tomorrow night. I don't have to be tomorrow night. All right, you guys. I appreciate you all being here. Shriker, thank you so much for your help. Sure. I get it. I was at a party all night. Were you, Heather? So Heather's, she's ready to like party. She's not ready to go to bed. Yes, Pam. We'll be on. I'll be on for sure tomorrow night. I'm sure. I'm sure that T will join me. If not, um, we usually ping pong back and forth. So if she does want to come on, we'll be on her channel. If she doesn't want to come on, then we'll be on my channel. She has a play date with Edna. <laughs> T does, right, Sharon? <laughs> 
All right, Lisa, thank you so much. Mwah. Yes, Susan, you did. I got to go. I've got to take the kids. And uh, I appreciate it. Thanks, you guys. We love you. Thanks for coming in. Bye-bye.